Yeah. It's dressed for less. Players ball was different, man. Man, mm-hmm. four hundred uh, players up in there. That's yeah, four hundred <laughs> pimps. It was like every time somebody <laughs> walked by, time was like, "What does this nigga got on?" Yeah, yeah. 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 that's funny. All these niggas was dressed like a uh, Queen Elizabeth stud. <laughs> Rhinestones and diamonds and uh, yeah, so pimped out cups. It was a beautiful time. It was, it was cool as hell. Yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was a bunch of love in the environment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cats, positive uh, energy up in there. But yeah. nigga, the, the pose was funny as hell. Oh, man. Hey, I'm not going to stop laughing. I don't like pimps is real serious about that eye contact shit. Hey, serious. If a bitch, oh, excuse my language, mm-hmm. if a bitch even gander. They Fair pressing game. her. Yeah. I'm with two broads. Both the broads I was with got pressed two, three times. Yeah. Hey, they got posted up. Yeah, I, I mean, come had the pill. You don't know, bust it, nigga. You don't back your motherfucking ass up. So I ain't no hater. I just ain't no pimp. This ain't pimping going on right now. Right. Right. This ain't pimping going on, nigga. They was really pressing. I was impressed. Yeah, I had to tell the bitch, hey, stop looking at these niggas. Mm. Turn you into a pimp. And I realized that's what the clothes is for. Yeah. The clothes, I never really realized about that about pimping. The oh, clothes shit. and all the shiny, shiny shit is to make a bitch look at you. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. I never put that together. Ain't that's, I, that's what it's for. That's all it takes. Because that one you had to peel up off for a girl, for those <laughs> listening, he looked like former USC Trojan Lindell White yeah. in a pink suit. He had a pink suit on. And he came and he, like, he was like, Face to face, you had yeah. to come in and like do some like yeah, post, post pivot moves. Because if you don't back up, nigga, he was so pleasant with. Oh man, you know what I'm saying? I just <laughs> man, that was, she, it looked like she was chilling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I like about pimps. It wasn't no negative energy. Like when you yeah. came in, you know, nigga. Oh, okay, my bad. Well, I got to check the trap, my nigga. I can't just. You feel know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, yeah, it was cool, man. Yeah, I, yeah that, was, that was funny. Yeah. Shout out to Nick, man, for inviting me to the Players Ball, man. Salute I was, to you, Nick. Shout was, out to Nick. Nick, man. What was your favorite part of the players' ball? Uh, my favorite part, well, I, I don't know when they, when they, whenever you would see a pimp come across another pimp that he ain't seen in a long time, they greetings towards one another. Right. Yeah. What's up? How you doing, partner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Stepping back. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. They, had, yeah. they had the Macho Man Randy Savage hand gestures going. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold on, the pixie does spring. <laughs> Red, you gotta go to the players' ball, Yo, but don't it. take your main bra because you're gonna sock a nigga. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. You, know, you got to go, man. You know, I hired a few actress bitches and took them with me. So I had three. I act like I was pimping in there, but they, <laughs> they sniffed out. It wasn't really no. Yeah. <laughs> They had their head up. <laughs> no, I had two of the homegirls with me. I had Mimi and another homegirl. Uh, I forgot the bitch's name. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> she don't watch the show like that. Though, so. <laughs> so, 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 I got to say, man, one of my man. favorite parts was when the two free agents walked in there. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. came in there and everybody was trying to spit their little ism yeah. to get them and the, and the shoot downs was real. You it, know oh, they were shooting them down. Yeah, yeah, they were shooting them down. And then one of them, so you know how you can't look a pimp in the eye? One of the girls that was a free agent messed around and accidentally hit Dewan on the elbow. Yeah. Almost got chose out. It was almost the yeah. that was about to start the bro. <laughs> that was almost your bro. That was almost your bro. Yeah. Have at it. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, um, I just yeah yeah shout out to the players ball man my, my you ever been to the players ball yeah yeah which one you, you went, which ones you go to I ain't been to the ball since two thousand five man me that's what that's when I met uh, uh sugar booger man from the relative okay yeah he got some award over me man I'm like this nigga ain't, <laughs> for real yeah this nigga ain't really down and around you know what I'm saying uh-huh. Uh-huh. but yeah but uh, but that's my nigga he doing this shit you know you always saying I hate this shit man when a nigga get something on top of you yeah yeah, yeah but he a real player man that's the part that's surprising this one I they didn't do a, or an award show while we were there they could have done one but not while we was there yeah but I remember going to see the award to uh, with Snoop DJ yeah yeah at that one. And they had the whole award show, and these cats was giving out trophies for Player of the Year, Mac of the Year, but they was like this big. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was like the third place trophies when we played for Rec League back mm-hmm. when we was kids. And they actually had trophies. I was, I was waiting for that part. Yeah, I was waiting for that ceremony. That should that, be funny. That, as hell. that that that's the real shit. Yeah, that's when I seen know. some of the the baddest bitches in my life, man. I mean, just 
some you look at and think, man, God damn, how, what could I, I want to marry her. I want to, you know, some old goofy shit. And she <laughs> dropped down her knee and kissed a nigga feet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, man. Just, you know. I like that. That's a yeah. service. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Shout, out, shout out to the homie yeah. from, uh, from Dina who was doing this thing and getting his uh, Pimpon. Shout out to you, man. And, oh, um, yeah. Shout out to the homegirl from Dina, who is clearly uh -huh. on the other side. <laughs> 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 you probably know her too, Red. Shout out to the homegirl. Shout out to the homegirl. And show these niggas run across a chick they went to school with. Man. Yeah, that yeah. shit is hilarious, yeah. dog. Yeah. Yeah. That's this funny. is her early 40s, hoeing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> was that, was that a new that's, thing? That's, 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 is that's, that the time y'all found out what happened? Like, I mean, is that, did y'all know previously? That's what Todd and them I didn't know. I don't. I didn't know her that well. But I seen she, her, and she wasn't making eye contact. About her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Wow, I get it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> was, she, was she like that in school? No, she was cool people. She cool yeah. people, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to you. It was one pimp in there that none of the other pimps was talking to. You seen that nigga? You talking about the, the, the short one with the... Uh, the nigga that uh, had male prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking, dude. <laughs> that nigga, that nobody was fucking with this nigga. Man, that's a real thing, bro. <laughs> they was out there looking at everybody, but you ain't trying to knock me? You ain't even knock me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Was these gigolos or was these like. These pimps. Are these pimps? These pimps. These real pimps. But these is niggas that's male prostitutes. The hoes, man. Oh, that, nigga had, that nigga had six buff ass niggas <laughs> selling <laughs> ass for him. Oh, no. Oh, bro. Yeah. yeah that's the, whole, the whole limo <laughs> smell like Dookie. <laughs> Nah, I'm fucking with you. We ain't going That's on the Bulgarian stroke. We ain't gonna see show for six weeks. Hell yeah, I'm trying to pull you about that whole stroke. They can do that. Shout out to Blaze. He got on the Levar Burtons today. We ain't ready for. Oh man, I didn't even know what he said. I mean, I, I, just, I just laughed anyway. I was gonna look the shit up when how I got you get home. Nominated? Do another pimp gotta nominate you for a trophy? Or how that work? Yeah, yeah. It's it's all players and shit, motherfuckers who really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, who out there who be really seeing what's happening? But that shit like every other goddamn thing. It's all politics and you know right. what I'm saying? Right, right. Those right. niggas having hoes with, with, with rap money, you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. yeah, that ain't real pimping. I mean, you know, you take it how you can get it, but Yeah. Man. Yeah, man, what what award would you nominate me for, Todd? In the, at the players ball. Oh man, uh Fest Beanie. <laughs> 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 I stay warm. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Don't forget the pixie dust. <laughs> Hell yeah. I want to introduce y'all to somebody I grew up with, man. One of the best hoopers I played with, one of my niggas, man. Give it up for Reds, man. Reds, man. Good. 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 How you doing, man? What's up? Reds, Reds, man. Reds is doing so much in life. Introduce yourself to the people and tell them where they can find you, man. Uh, basically, uh, Team Reds on Instagram. I'm on Facebook under Reggie Wallace. That's where you can find me. Hell yeah. You can find me in Pasadena all over. I'm working with all the local kids, doing different projects, working with a lot of pros, a lot of athletes. I just did this uh, Kevin Durant show on uh, Apple TV. It's called Swagger. It's a basketball film. So okay. Check okay. it out. Check it out. Most famous player you train? Most famous player I train? Best player, hands down. Uh, sh Probably myself. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. But I mean, as far as like a professional, yeah. Uh, I work with Brian before I work with D Wade, so probably them two. Okay, you work yeah. with Brian and D Wade. Yeah. Okay. How? Well, I mean, how was it working with Brian and like, what did you help him get better at? What part of the game did I you? I mean, it was basically like I was kind of like a stand-in. You know, I was over there working with Norris Cole at the time, and then you know the guy had basically was like, you like what I did with Norris. And had me kind of work with LeBron on his footwork and his, you know what I mean, his pop, his ball handling, just that, like, getting right. his handle right. Okay. Uh, what, what, okay, so what was the, what was his week, uh, so so what what was the plan with LeBron when you got caught? I mean, basically, it was just like making sure that his handle was tight, you know. So I came in to just kind of give him that, my expertise as far as, like, on the ball handling, serious stuff. Right. So I did, like, 
three sessions with him in Miami back yeah. in 2014. So. Oh, okay. Cool. What was that like? It had to be exci <laughs> exciting. Yeah, I was at, I was in uh, in Miami for like four months. Worked with a ton of pros. So yeah, it was it was it was it was shit. It was good. Man, who surprised you? He was like, I didn't know this nigga was that good. Person that surprised me. Uh, D-Way, I didn't know D-Way was that good. Really? Yeah, I didn't know, he because he can do everything. Like, I didn't know he was that good. Like, he can do everything on the court. Right, right. Like, anything you put him through, he can do it. Like, he catch on like this. Do it. Yeah, it's like his handle, his, his footwork, the way he create, just everything about his game is just so, like, it's just effortless. So what? how do you assess a player like that who has no flaws? Like, what, what do you do to make them believe in what you're trying to teach them, and then how do you implement that into strategy i mean like me personally i like it's like a puzzle when you're working with me you know you know like every piece don't always come like it's like i'm giving you something different every single time like i'm always keeping you off balance as far as that so when working with like a guy like d way i just try to keep him off balance like try to put him through like a lot of uncomfortable situations so in a game you know what i mean everything can just all come together and it can be comfortable so i try to make it my job is to make his his life uncomfortable when I'm working with him, you know? Right, 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 yeah. right. Wow, D-Wade. D-Wade and LeBron. D-Wade do everything, man. That's what's up. Man, so is, did LeBron's size surprise? Like, yeah, he's, he's, actually, he's actually much bigger in person. Like, as far as lean, like, he's like, it's like no body fat. Like, he's, like, he's, he's just uh, basically like a, just a, like an action figure, like Iron Man on the court, you know? Right, right, yeah, right. Like he really looks like crazy. Like I'm five seven. I'm looking up at the name like God damn, this thing is crazy. You. Yeah. Best player you played against? Best player I played against probably uh, this dude named Marcus Banks. Oh, from oh, Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he yeah, already, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Marcus, man, that nigga was lightning. Yeah. Was. Yeah. In the open court, he was fast. What, what was so special about his game? He was so fast, he was so strong, he was so smart. You know, I was always quick and I always had a handle, but he did everything right because I played against him. I was at Palomar, he was at Dixie State. So we went up to Utah to play him, and I, I figured out how much better I had to get playing against him, how much stronger, how much smarter. Everything else I had naturally, but, like, as far as, like, being a student of the game, like, he was the guy that was like, oh, I got to get my shit together. Why do you think his game didn't translate to the league? Oh, I think he never really found that jumper, you know, because you can sag off of him. Because everybody in the league is athletic, so you can just you can sag up off of him. So I just feel like if he would have actually developed that jumper, it was kind of like a TJ Ford, you know. Right, right, He never right. really developed that jumper, you know, to keep him in the league. So. Right, 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 right. Oh, those in the house, huh? We just gonna scoop down. Everybody scoop down a little bit. Or you could just yeah. Yeah, he got drafted. He got drafted by the Suns, I think, like the yeah, number he got nine pick. By the yeah, he was a lottery pick too. Yeah, yeah. was it a lottery pick? Hell yeah, he was a lottery pick. I remember seeing him at UCLA working in yeah. the summer sessions. Yeah, against when he was just coming into the league. Yeah, he, he was playing against by the pros. He, he was, was super <laughs> nice. <laughs> His game was stupid. Yeah, he was stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was really, really talented. My bad, we got people coming in the What's studio, up, man. Check, 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 book one. Hey! Hey! Yo, loud as hell. Hey! Yeah! Hey! 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 Yeah. I thought I was Nigerian. Right. Yeah, Marcus was cold. Yeah, on, yeah Marcus was cold. You was, you was cold too, though. Man, a lot yeah, of people. Yeah, you was cold. <laughs> you know, I had a lot I of think guys. You was a big guard. Like, yeah, yeah. You was like the first big guard I really had to check. Guard. I'm like, this motherfucker's strong. Man, yeah, hell yeah. Red, red. caused me problems. It, I got to a point, man, when I played, where, where I started to understand things, and I was like, damn, man. It's right around the time we start kind of playing it playing together, I realized it's, gonna, it's some really nice niggas that ain't going to make it. Like, the league what? is really a numbers game. Yeah, what, what, like, how old was you when you, like, knew? When I knew I wasn't, when I knew I wasn't going to go to the league, I probably was, like, 17, 18. And I just knew, I knew I had the ability, but I just knew my my situation wasn't right. Yeah. I believed in myself that yeah. I could go. When did you realize, like, oh, man, this probably ain't going to happen? Shit, when I fucking, like, my last game of my senior season, I was basically like, yeah, it's a wrap, bro. I don't got no. I got a couple offers, but my grades is fucked up. I'm five seven. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm about to do with my life. Shit's yeah. over. 
I thought shit was over, honestly. Hey, that's some depression shit. What's going on, man? I mean, I honestly thought your, your shins was going to stretch a little bit longer. <laughs> you, know, be able to play. you know. Reg was so cold. <laughs> <laughs> now they went to high school together. Yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you, you crazy. It's crazy because it's like between 5'7 and 6'1, it's just so many players. Yeah. You can replace the bottom half of yeah, the league yeah, for with sure. fans who you've never heard of. These, they, you wouldn't have any drop off in quality. I tell niggas, niggas between my height and Reg's height are the Man. best basketball players on the, and, on yeah, the, the planet. World. Easy. Easy. You know what I'm saying? So size does matter in hoop. Yeah, because like, a lot of times, too. like a lot of pros that I've been training and developing, they don't have a real natural skill set. They have to develop the skill set. They do certain things great, but they don't do a, a lot of things like phenomenal. You oh, know what I mean? Six, yeah, seven. they get they, they, <laughs> six, five, six, 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 seven, six, eight, but. Oh, God, but yeah, so. Uh, <clears throat> I, I agree with that because, like, for me, bro, I was 6'2". I yeah. played basketball, but yeah. the whole time, bro, they trained me to be a center. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? Did, they, had they had me, me doing box. center shit. Yeah, had me in the box. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, where'd you play center at a 6'2"? <laughs> Nigga, no, I'm just saying, no, you know. True shit. No, I wasn't starting center in my school before you got All 5'10", 5'8". Yeah, you know. But you still putting up a double-double, though. You niggas in Pee Wee Leagues. I'm guarding Tyson Chandler and shit. Like, nigga, after the game, oh, this little nigga right here, he gave me trouble. The one? 5'10". But no, nah, um, what I was saying though, like yeah, like like people that, like you said, I believe that the smaller people got to work harder. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Definitely. Because like at a certain height, you know what I'm saying, they think you're gonna be uh, seven foot six eight, yeah. like not even knowing, like yo, you about to stop at six one six feet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so never, reading, so when you learn how to read, going. that's what stunted your growth. <laughs> <laughs> they need an NBA for niggas between 5'1 and 5'10. Like, I think that would be more entertaining. Lower the court to like 9'10. Nah, don't lower the court. Don't lower the court. Don't lower the court. I was jamming on niggas uh, at, at my heights. Nah, like, I'm on a 5'8 shack, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, 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 that'd be fine. You right. It's, it's pairs like, like Poo Jeter. Poo Jeter was Poo Jeter raw. Was, he nice. That, he was, he, he was still be hooping right now. He oh, still, yeah. yeah. Poo Jeter. Like, Shout out to Poo. He got a, he the only black man in Southern California with a Nike contract. Mm. He has a Nike store. It's in, it's in, uh, I think that's, what's the city right next to Hawthorne? Right on the side of the freeway? Uh, no, the, it's a beach city. Right? Manhattan Beach. So Manhattan yeah. Beach. It's off of Inglewood. Yeah. I think no. it's up in Inglewood. Pooh, I'm going to call you on the break so you can tell me where the, where the exact address is. Yeah, like, I, I remember seeing Pooh and Banks at around the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? I saw how they was lighting the court, the court up. They just didn't have that size. And, like, I was looking at that little man, no, Caleb account. Yeah. Frank's son. This motherfucker dropped 59 points. Yeah, Caleb account. And his last, that's who he reminded me of you. Yeah, he dropped 59 points. And this, 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 this little young dude's game was just so smooth and so NBA ready, but he's 5'7". Yeah, right? exactly. And it's like, five, like, all right, this same kid was six inches taller. It's a wrap. Yeah. yeah they really trying to take away all the small guards off the league. Like, yeah. you see where they headed. They going to the jobs and all that. You got to really be something <laughs> crazy to get in the NBA at this point. If you if you under six feet, I'm going to give you the formula to get to the league. Okay, first you got to be... You got to be lightning fast. Yes. I'm talking about, nigga, not AI fast because that's irregular, but you got to be lightning fast and you got to be strong. Mm -hmm. And your jumper has to be incredible. And you got to play lockdown defense. That's a defense you thing. have to be, a, I mean, you don't necessarily have to be if you're blessed with lightning speed, but if you play lockdown defense and you can shoot and you, you can go. guard somebody, mm -hmm. At a high level, you have a chance, mm -hmm. but you can't have no weaknesses in your game. Yeah, yeah. No, especially yeah. that jump shot. Right. right. In today, in today's zone, the zone defense, the red side of the game. If you you can't just go to the basket like back in the nineties mm -hmm. and get, you got to be able to have that jumper. If you ain't got thirty foot, thirty feet in range, you ain't gonna yeah, have. You got to be a standstill shooter. Yeah. You got to be able to hit spot up jumpers at this point, like because it's like all the stars got the ball in their hand. You see Giannis at six eleven seven foot. With the ball in his hand, and then he giving it up with three seconds left on his. You gotta be able to hit that you shot. Gotta, like, <laughs> that shot. Right. LeBron, like they doing that. Like you gotta be able to make that shot to get paid. If you don't, you won't get paid. And you gotta be a dog. Look, when you a little nigga, bro, you have to be able to change the complexity of the game anytime you on court. You gotta be the most physical nigga on the court. You gotta be vocal. You gotta make your presence felt. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta be memorable, my nigga. You gotta be diving for every. I mean, you just gotta do. You can't be. You can't just be out there scoring thirty. That's not enough. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you know what I'm true. saying? That's what everybody do. Everybody can score 30. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what else do you bring to the table? Right. You know? What would you say is the number one quality in a smaller hooper to get to the league? Uh, discipline, as far as everything, like making sure you're disciplined. Uh, making shots, of course. You got to make open shots. And you, like you say, you got to play D. Right. If you don't play defense, you're not going to play. Right, right. You got to be able to stop somebody. Best coach, in your opinion? The best coach in the league? NBA coach. Um, Pop. Pop, if I can see Ah, uh, yeah, Pop guy. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, yeah, 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 he still is the best. Yeah, I see Pop still. I was thinking Ty Lue, but you know, it's Pop. It's still Pop. Pop. Yeah, Pop. Who's, who is your say Ty Lue. Ty Lue. Ty Lue. <laughs> 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 nah, but Ty, but Ty, Lue, Ty, Lue, Ty Lue over there, he, he got a chip, nigga. He listen, got, listen, he, listen to the basketball. Listen, he don't have nothing over there, and they're competing. Yeah. He has, she don't got either one of his stars over there. He's competing. Oh, Every, would you say I, he's the best I, coach? I don't think he's the best. I think he top, top 10. Thank you. He top 10. Tex Winters is underrated. For sure. Tex Winters was really the mastermind. The architect of the triangle. Oh, okay. I was like, Rich, I, what was the best we advice? We got niggas who don't know who Tex Winter is laughing at my pick on who the best coach is. <laughs> <laughs> you said Tyler. You didn't know who Tex Winter was. I know I had to no, think of. You're not qualified of, to talk about I had to think about. I don't, don't think about what I'm thinking. My old white man. I'm sorry. You didn't know who Tex Winter was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The old white man, he didn't come to my thought right away. I might not know who Rakim is in rap, nigga. No, it's not. No, it's not. Tex Winter is that dude. Well, we, Ty, Ty Ludo, come on, stop. We're going to stay with coaches, but uh, speaking of coaches, like who? what was the best advice that you got from your personal coaches in your life uh, as a b-ball player? I'm going to show up to the Rams. <laughs> I like that jacket. I like the jacket on another person. I think the jacket on another person. Actually, my nigga, these are two outfits in one, so I can transfer. I take this hat off, and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm already going to wear the pants. <laughs> <laughs> and just take off the jacket. Uh, you, 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 when you when you when you boosting this shit, you can only steal one piece of clothing at a time. No, but let me ask you the question though, about the coach. You know, um, I'm talking about coach. I think my dad told me, like, cause he was my first real coach. He basically told me like, just give everything you got every single time you step on the floor. The only thing you can't get back is time. That's some real shit. That's 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 yeah, that's yeah. Real that's real life. Life. You know, my, my dad used to just be like, play hard, I'ma fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that too. And that too. I used to get, you know, I used to get fucked up. That, uh, hey, yeah. I used to get up hey, the life. best piece of advice I got <laughs> was because I don't know if you experienced this, right? I think every Hooper experienced this, but I might be wrong. So when I first got to my high school team, I was just a freshman nigga. I was happy to be there, and it was niggas who were obviously there before me. So I wasn't a threat. They didn't really view me as a threat. But as I start hooping, the dyna- like the, the dynamics change with like some of the players and their parents. You know, you get these people who come from low league programs and they think that every kid's supposed to play or yeah. I've been spending all this money on my son being on this travel ball <laughs> team. Yeah, and, and then a nigga like me come out of nowhere who I got good parents, but they don't know shit about basketball. And you're not paying you for shit. I'm not paying for shit. They're paying politics. for us. I don't, go, yeah. I don't own a pair of Jordans. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hooping in shit from Marshalls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nigga, my hoop cleat, my hoop, uh, my hoop kicks is next to the cleats at Marshall. They, right? I got all the bogus shit on, yeah. but I'm I'm doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm coming from Pasadena, moving to West Covina to go to high school. I grew up around some real dogs. Mm-hmm. It was some real killers in Pasadena hooping, like some murderers. So when I got out there, I'm eighth, ninth grade, and I'm already uh, starting bar material. So I get on, I get on campus, and that first year I do decent. You know what I'm saying? I do decent, but the the, ne- the next year is obviously my squad. And there was a, 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 a two brothers on the team, Karen and Lauren, who I got major love for. But we were really tight before the squad became my squad. Mm-hmm. But then when the coach turned the team over to me, it became a whole different scenario. It was my yeah. first time experiencing hate just off of my abilities. They didn't hate on me directly, but they pops. Yelling weird shit in Man. the stands, doing weird shit. But anyway, before they fell out with me, his pops gave me some of the best advice that he got from John Wooden. And this is the best advice I got as a hooper. Less is more. 
You know, we come from the crossover era. So when AI came out <laughs> and the man one mixtapes came <laughs> out, every n- niggas was just everything was about setting up, snatching your ankle. Ten times, you trying to, <laughs> trying to break your leg with one move. And man, yeah, man. man. And, and eight seconds said, with the ball. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga told me less is more and that shit clicked for me somehow. And I went from trying to do that AI shit, I just put that uh, that Tim Hardaway crossover. To me, if you're a guard with a handle and you quick, that Tim Hardaway crossover is one of the most effective moves. Hell yeah. yeah. Got two you moves two step. You step, two step. Nigga, that shit yeah. is crazy because the counter off that is crazy. You can counter to a spin. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can, you know, it's just, there's so many counters off of that because it's simple. That was, that was, that was my most effective Most advice. crossovers are built off that. That's, that's right. a foundation. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. but that Tim Hardaway just that between the legs and that for it's me so that was effective. my what was your yeah, most effective move, move right? My braces. most effective move like the the running behind the back. Right. I'm coming at you so fast and I'm just able to just kinda just change directions out of nowhere with that behind the back and shift out of that behind the back. So mine's is just coming at you full speed with that behind. Right. You know, certain people the behind the back move is a like they cannot pull it off. Like it's it's a tough move to do. So right. I was able I got long arms and big hands to be right. short, so I'm able to just kinda just shift. So that's yeah, my right. most effective. Reds will break a nigga and then pass it to a nigga that you didn't even know was in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was fine yeah. niggas, bro. I I used to be amazed sometimes. Like, how did you know that nigga was standing there, man? <laughs> what, what what do you think was your best trait as a hooper? My passing. Passing. Like, of course, I was always naturally gifted with the ball, but people didn't understand how gifted of a passer that I was. Like, right. Like, like you're saying, I can just kind of just make anybody look good on the court. Man, that's some real shit, man. Most bounce you play with. Doug Thomas. Doug. Uh, Doug. 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 Yeah, he might. Yeah. Young Doug was like a young LeBron. Yeah, he was. He was, he was doing a LeBron dunk before LeBron. Mm-hmm. Doug about yeah. blaze height. With what, what you think? Damn near fifty. Yeah, he like he had the Guinness Book of World Records at Robinson. He touched the top of the the backboard. The backboard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, that, but that's yeah, documented. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, shit, that you can YouTube that right now. For real. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, you can YouTube that right now. Doug had major amounts. It was another thing. Remember Jamal Barnes from Rolling? Ooh. That nigga Jamal had so much. Jamal back. was there the year. <laughs> Before I got there, right? Yeah, that's that. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, Jamal had major bounce. Jason Sanford has bounce. Jason too. had, yeah, yeah. And my dog was like, you know, I, I don't know who had the most bounce out of them two. Yeah, that you. I, Jason might have had more. He was a little shorter. Though. Yeah, and he was more creative. Yeah, yeah. And he had. He was a better two foot jumper. Yeah. And Doug was, yeah. Doug was looking like KG out there. Yeah, he was bouncy, Steve. Yeah. He brought up a good point earlier about the politics. And talk to us like about as far as like the politics and AAU, because oftentimes you'll have a, a child that's really talented, but their parents may not be all in on basketball. That's right. just what their kids do. Yeah. Oftentimes, what you will see, and this is a warning to the parents out there who have kids that are hooping, you'll have a bigger program come around, and this your kid is fresh and can really hoop, but never been heard of. But they got a kid that they've been putting money on for the last four or five years. Right. They'll come and sign your kid to put him on the bench and sit him behind right. their kid. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. so you don't get no shine. Talk to I, I think, you know what I mean, as far as like with the AAU, like yeah. when we was growing up, you had to be good to play travel ball basketball. Yeah. You know? yeah. like, I went to I went to ARC and I had to make the team. Mm-hmm. Like it was it started off as a hundred and every week the list got shorter and shorter. Now like you can put your cousin, he can be the head coach. You have a nephew that's in the <coughs> third grade that's trash, but he didn't play on another team so he can go and you can be his coach. Like I just think the whole basketball game is watered down. You don't see that. In, you don't see that in tennis. You don't see that in soccer. Yeah. You don't see that in golf. You don't see that. Everybody <laughs> feels like they are experts in basketball. So I think that's why it's so watered down okay. at this point. Guys that didn't ever even play, it's showing people how to play. You never played, so how could you show somebody how to play? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so much money in AAU. It's, 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 it's difficult to find a pure situation. Yeah, because everything we was we everybody was like. As far as like, like Puma had a team, Adidas, K Swiss when right, we was growing right. up, LA Gear. Like now, everybody can just make teams. So I yeah. think that's the reason yeah. why you you see the shit happening. Yeah, as long as you got the entry fee, you pay three fifty, cool you get way, in. Though. I, look, the way Levar did it is the way I would do it. But Levar had real players. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. Not, I mean, it's so it's many divisions. Team. You got a you got a bronze, a silver. You got a. A copper, like seriously. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah this is bad. And, and, and going back to you said the money with it. Like I remember one time I was uh, at some at, at dinner with the Pump Brothers, one of the, the Pump Brothers. Dana, yeah, yeah, Dana, you know. And uh, yeah, Dana, he he would like he likes to brag, 
mm-hmm. and he'll brag about all these donation gifts that he got mm-hmm. from these celebrities and people to put their kids mm-hmm. on this squad. And these pumping run, you know, they pumping out NBA talent for a minute. Yeah. You know, but it became so corrupt with the money. Basically, it became a pay to play thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that g- contributes to what you're saying. Watered down. You get some real dope players in the platinum divisions, but yeah. the, the, that squad is filled up with people who are really paying to play. Hey, hey, you balls just like the club. Mm. Like a popping ass Hollywood club. Some niggas go to the club and just want to get in because they cool niggas. And that's not happening. That's a good way to put it. That ain't the way it works. That's a good way to put it. You got to be popping. You got to be popping. You got to know how to pop. Yeah. And the way to get in the club, if you're not the cool niggas, you got to shake hands with bread in your motherfucking yeah, pound. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody, these security guards don't give a fuck about these clubs. Yeah. If you shake a buff nigga's hand with a black jacket on, $50 <laughs> in your pound, you party with Lil Wayne. Now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a fact. Now, that's a fact. Now it's 500. That's a fact. 500, there we go. 500 now. But some of you niggas got your best outfit on and you're standing in front of the gate yelling at the promoter because you've been in line for two hours. <laughs> Cause you don't know how to play the game. Yeah. You gotta at least shake that hand with a hundred. And yeah. that's what AAU ball is. That's why the importance. That's why Lavar Ball to me was so important to the culture of hoop. Yeah. Because he understood. Oh, this is the game they playing. So I need to play the. I don't need to play the game with my feelings. I need to play the game <clears throat> based on the a politics. strategy that's gonna yeah. help my sons yeah. win. Yeah, yeah, sure. Fuck being a good nigga to everybody watching or fuck. Fuck, right. fuck trying to right. fit in with motherfuckers. I know what I got. Yeah. Right. So let me market my shit the best way I can. Because look, if you a parent listening and you got your kid in AAU ball, it's not a game no more. Nope. I know you think it's just a game to your kid because you love them and all that and you view them as your child, but it's no longer a game. This is a for-profit business. And you got to think of yourself like a business owner or like a, a, an investment banker, and your child is a commodity that you want to make worth as much as it could worth as much as it could possibly be worth. Mm-hmm. And I hate to, I hate to, I hate to put that into a, a, a into the air because it kind of makes things seem more impure. But you can't let other motherfuckers benefit from your children more than you do. But mm-hmm. here's the thing about it: you 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 giving them game. It it isn't pure. It's pure when you're in your backyard. You know what I mean? It's pure when you're, when you're in high school, running up in middle school, running up down the court. That AAU shit is so much goddamn money in that right now. That shit stopped being pure 20 years ago. And you, right. you, you, you make sure you're aware of that because these people are coming along. They'll have great stories. They'll talk about all the shoes they can get your kid. And it's a lot of game that's being run. Right. So just, and then also, if you, that's if your kid is good. If your kid isn't that good, you got the other side. You got coaches that are just, that just want players to get teams so they can get these entry fees. A lot of these tournaments have these entry fees. They got these bogus ass tournaments nationwide. Trying to sell parents on their kid, possibly making the NBA, and all they want is forty-eight teams for their tournament. Mm. So you got to watch out for all that shit right now. The game is not pure. No, no. Right. Shout out to Bruce Hicks, man. I was my first AAU coach in the sixth grade. I played for the San Gabriel Valley Heat. Bruce Hicks was a, a, a he's a he's retiring as a referee. He retired. Uh, he ref Pac-10 games. He ref a few national championships games. He was the lead. Uh, ref and that whatever that local association is of all of you know Bruce probably for sound light skin like, dude he looked like a he looked like a uh, he looked his side profile was like a Roman quarter they <laughs> like you can't tell the difference between his, his nose and his Adam's apple. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. He said a Roman quarter. <laughs> he looked like a Roman quarter. Hey, you know the piggyback <laughs> off the LeVar thing? You know who like really a pioneer in the game as far as a parent? Who is Drew Holiday that he got three in the NBA? Yeah, he he don't three. say nothing. Yeah, and right. He's from Pasadena. He yeah, from Pasadena all day. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he from Pasadena all day. But he took him out to the valley to uh, what was that high school? What's the uh, uh damn, uh, right there off of uh, Coldwater uh, uh, Canyon. Uh, Campbell Hall. Campbell Hall. Campbell Hall. Campbell Hall. Yeah, shout out to Drew Holiday, man, and his pops. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He got three, yeah, three in the league. Drew Justin. Yeah, three. Aaron, they all, Aaron, they yeah. all getting getting played. They like they're just in the league. They all yeah. in the all league. They really in the yeah. league. And they all went the traditional route. They didn't have to go to another country to come back. They all college yeah. and the league. So he yeah. got three. Let me ask this question. So if so, he got three in the league. Why is why do you think Reg Jello is not in the league? 
Uh, I don't think he's that good. Really? Yeah, I don't think he's that good. Well, no, he's in the league. He's in the D league. In the D league, but I mean, the D league is a league, nigga. If I got to the D league, I'm telling bitches I'm in. Fuck all these technicalities, bitch. I'm on the Lakers beef team, bitch. They got no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it, you're right. Jello had some injury issues too that that son his development when he was in his late teens. And also, like he said, like he, but even back when he was young, everyone sort of knew yeah, he was, was going to be. Yeah, yeah gonna everybody be knew he, he was the one that was going to be. He don't get to the league. Look, if Seth, if Seth Curry is killing the league, Jello is going to That's what I thought. No, no, Seth, Seth he got Seth, better, though. Seth don't Seth, miss. Seth got better. He don't better. miss, but no, in our era, he wouldn't have made it to the league, bro. But this yeah, is, If he didn't have a brother, he's not in the league. He don't have a league game. Craig. You can shoot like that, nigga. He play, don't have league you game. You can play anywhere. He got league game with that kind he of jump shot. Not have league game, bro. But, he's, but you, you just said he's killing though. No, no, he's killing. But what I'm saying, this is what I'm <laughs> saying. Like, <laughs> he don't have 1990s league yeah, game. Yeah, but yeah. in the new NBA, in the new NBA, all you got to do, got do is shoot. He just had 30 last night. Come on, yeah, dude. I know. I've seen the highlights. I've seen it. Jello ain't doing that. Jello can do that. Jello can't shoot this bitch. Jello ain't got a jumper like that. You crazy as a motherfucker. Like, like that? I watched that nigga. I watched that nigga go for seventy in high school. Oh no, yeah, high school. This thing, bro. If you don't, if you, if if you don't, if if you don't like, if you're not looking over your shoulder, thinking you're gonna come out the game, that shit's easy to do. And your dad is gonna pull your brother that's coming in. Like, that's easy. It's not easy to score, but it's easy to shoot the ball every fucking yeah. time. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. we, like when you looking over at seeing if you're going to get subbed, you're like, shit, I, I ain't going to take this shot. Right. That goes into like your he, decision. That his comfort was him shoot, scoring 70 now. Right. Little brothers of superstars who are a little bit above average always get to the league. Yeah. Joe Wilkins. Dominique Wilkins' little brother. Harvey Grant. Harvey Grant. <laughs> they was twins. They was twins. Yeah, they was twins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I was thinking a minute older. <laughs> <laughs> The Morris twin. Blake Griffin brother Blake didn't Griffin. make it. He, he he made it. He got, he got a there. shot. With he got a year. Yeah. He I got never thought. I never thought he was nice. I never seen that. Nice. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Michael Jordan brother, older brother, was better than was better. Than Michael tell you, he was only five seven. You see how they ever seen him? Yeah. Man. But Mike did a very you know, unselfish you know, thing for his little brother. He like bought a semi-pro team and made show. his brother the star. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rick <laughs> Barry and Brent Barry. Yeah. 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 Rick Barry, no, it's Brent and the Rick Barry's dad. Rick Barry and older brother. And John Barry. John, John yeah. Barry. Yeah. Yeah. Rick, Rick, Rick is the dad. Because Brent Barry is a dunk contest champion. Right. But he's younger than Rick, though. He's younger yeah. than John. John, yeah. they, both, John. they both had, like, uh, decent careers. Though. Right, right, yeah. right. What happened to the old man? Oh, Charles and Ed and Charles. Yeah, what happened uh, to them? Uh, yeah, the old Bannons. And Charles didn't have league game. He had league athleticism. Yeah, but he had league game. Uh-huh. Yeah, but he Bain made the league because of Charles. Toby Bain, 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 Bain had a brother had a named brother Moose, too? but I don't think he got a shot in the league. Oh, okay. yeah. uh, Toby didn't get that long in the league. No, nah, yeah, he was like two years and out of there. That shit tough. It's a couple other brothers. You don't understand how hard it is to stick to the league. You can get to the league. It's 60 stick new guys coming in every year. Every year. And now every around the world. Back every in the 90s, it was, just, it was just America. Yeah, now just it's America. So it's it's a problem. So all Americans, you're not getting this. It's probably like 15 spots for Americans. Right. They're taking more foreigners. Right. I, I want you to address something real fast. People always talk about they don't like NBA game because the players just get there and they relax because they got big, big contracts. Mm-hmm. Talk to them, the folks, about how it's only like two major contracts. Everyone else is fighting for it for a job. The rest, the rest of the ten players <laughs> yeah, is fighting for a new job every year. Talk about that dynamic. Yeah, this is where we get messed up because they we look at LeBron and KD and you know I mean the max, the super max guys. It's more other guys. Way more. It's right. way more other guys. Right. So. These are the guys that's making five and seven and eight to ten million a year, three million. You know what I mean? So it's really tough. Right. I had to deal with guys. I had Norris Cole, really good player, spent five years in the league. Uh, Tyler Dorsey, <laughs> really good player, spent two tough. years in the league. Cassius good. Stanley, I trained since he was young, yeah, seventh grade. He, he played. Is he the most athletic motherfucker you've ever? ever He's he more athletic than uh, Doug. He's the most athletic player. He's the most athletic person I've ever had. <laughs> Talk trained. about his athleticism, because I was arguing with somebody saying the same shit you were saying. They're the like, most. there's no way. He's, 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 it's so crazy. Like, his first session with me, seventh grade, dad was like, oh, yeah, Cassius, let's go. I put him through like an hour and a half, a crucial workout. Like he's sweating. He threw the ball to himself, through his legs, seventh grade. Mm. 
Gosh, damn. Seventh grade. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. Yeah, that's that's. I have some videos on my phone with him just dunking everything like i got this drill where i have you just running back and forth and you got to dunk everything for like a minute straight he's dunking everything oh, after like true. a 45 yeah. minute workout he's dunking everything yeah. 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 well basically he with detroit so he's in the g league right now yeah, yeah but it's tough man yeah he uh, it, it's very tough man question how many hours a day does a player has have to dedicate to barely make the league just to, just in off-season training, how many hours a day? The same. I, I look at it like, gonna, I look at it like gonna, a real job. That's going to be different. I look at it players, like though. eight hours, like mm-hmm. an eight-hour day. Mm-hmm. First, you got to look at it as you, you're in the gym. You're working out an hour and a half, two hours. I mean, basically. <coughs> then you, you, you do all your strength and conditioning stuff. That's an hour, right? That's three. Then you do your recovery. That's another hour. Then you come back getting shots up. Then you got then you got to watch film. Mm-hmm. So in the course of that, you got eight to ten hours. Like Kobe said, Kobe said he was waking up at four in the morning. And then they come back to the gym at nine. Then they come back at one. Then they come back at five. He said, if he work out eight to nine hours a day, and you work out three, it goes nine, eighteen, and then you working three, six. Nine. He said you would never be able to catch him over five years. Mm-hmm. He said he just knew he would be that much better than everybody else. And that's why I tell people, I say, if you really work for something, you gotta really work at it. Yeah. To be great in it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Kobe was a notorious for that. I remember, you know, uh, Coach has she. Yeah. I remember she used to work out, work Kobe out with yeah. the Lakers. Yeah. And he used to always talk about how the uh, when when he get, Kobe would have a five a.m. gym time, mm-hmm. and when he got to the gym at five o'clock, Kobe had already been there for an hour just doing cone drills, footwork drills. Yeah. So when the workout started at five o'clock, he's like uh, an hour into just basic plyometrics, mm-hmm. and then it's just on to different drills. Like the work ethic that these cats put in is. To another level. That's why I always talk to parents when that that coach kids. You got to balance your sports with the education and with knowing more because you put in that much work and be better than most of these niggas and still not make it. Not make it. Or see like Shaq. Shaq didn't work at all. He was better than everybody. He was just bigger, stronger. Shaq was seven (laughs) one. That's why I say it depends on the person. And B don't be like and B. Joel and B started playing basketball like three years ago. (laughs) B niggas are playing sleep. B niggas probably have seven foot tall kids. They kids is five nine. Your son is six one, nigga. You ain't. You better work. Yeah. You Let me do this quick up, read. Man. One second, man. Manscape, man. Manscaped. Uh, can I get a round of applause? Start clapping, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm excited to announce Manscape has launched a new ultra prim- premium collection. Believe it or not. Somebody, somebody. I said what for real? Yeah, premium collection. It's not so. And it's not for your so private parts. I'm talking about a level of hygiene routine with your favorite manly scent. This is an all-in-one skincare kit for everyday men, and it covers you from head to toe. Fire. Yes. Fire. It's head to, man, head to toe? Head to toe. Oh, God, right. Damn, that's crazy, man. That's a lot of body for the one. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we, know, we all know how essential Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 is. The precise trimming below the waist and the advanced skin safe technology reduces cuts to your most delicate areas. Mm. Mm. But now, you can enhance your perfect grooming routine with the Ultra Premium Collection. This package includes Manscaped Premium Deodorant. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, wait, you can use that auto. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> the deodorant is not for your balls, it's for your stanky armpits. Oh! That's from DJ Show's beard! Yeah! <laughs> this deodorant dries, clears, and is aluminum free and smells like our signature scent. We also have a hydrating body spray. You have you have issues with tattoos drying on your skin? Well, the spray is our, the spray and our lotion is designed to keep your skin feeling moisturized, smooth, and fresh smelling. We also got a body wash. Oh, yes, to, la- to, la- to lather you up with infused aloe vera and sea salt shower gel. Also, a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. Okay. No. To clean your scalp with one easy step. Wait a minute. Okay two in one? one? Yeah, two in one. Two in one. Yeah, that's, one easy step. That's, a, yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's great. That's great. 
Fred Blaze can condition his locks with those. Oh, man. <laughs> Plus a free gift. A three-pack of... A set of lip balm that made that's made up of the ingredient ingredients vitamin E, peppermint, eucalyptus, and oil to keep your chappers feeling moist. Mm. Wow. Chappers. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> chappers, right. Chappers, right? Chappers, huh? I'd recommend music I'd recommend using the products in this order. Hop in the shower and scrub a dub the body with the Manscaped body wash. Lather your hair with a two-in-one shampoo conditioner and uh, get your noggin feeling fresh. Dry off and spray with a hydrating body spray to moisturize your dry skin. Put on Manscaped deodorant for obvious reasons. And pop the Manscaped lip balm on. No one wants to kiss a chap lip. Just don't, just don't pop your lips after you do it. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, don't, right. don't, yeah that's some don't do that. stuff. Now get 20% off that. and free shipping if you type in the code Craig at Manscaped.com. Again, get 20% off and free shipping with the code Craig at Manscaped.com. The power of attraction is now in a bottle thanks to Manscaped. Manscaped. Oh, God, God. Thank you, Manscaped. Thank you, Manscaped. Appreciate Manscaped. It's crazy, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Order my pack now. What you got for us today, Todd? Oh, man, we out there, man. Shout out to them out there, Nation. I know you out there. Um, so James Harden, man, you know, he's in Philly now. And uh, they asked him, how does it feel to be in Philly? He said, Philly was my first choice. When I was going through all that stuff in Houston and I was trying to get out of there, I wanted to go to Philly. So now he's in Philly. He didn't want to go into detail about all of that. But he said now he's in Philly and he's happy to actually be in Philly. I think Philly got a shot, man. I like, I like Harden with Embiid. Yeah. I do. I don't understand how... What Andre Drummond brings to the table is so undervalued now. That's the that's the that's the person in the trade where I'm like, if I'm a coach, I gotta keep a nigga like this on my team. You have to. Why is his skill set so undervalued now? I'll tell you why. Same reason why people undervalue people like Tristan Thompson. Basketball fans are so used to looking at the numbers, they think basketball comes down to points, rebounds, and assists. When that is only a third of the game. How you play the game, the energy and force you bring to the game, that's just as big as a part. Setting screens, the ability to rebound, the ability to have hands to catch on a dump off and get passes off the off the rim, get misses off the rim, that's just as important as an assist or all the, all the rest of that stuff. But since ESPN and these announcers don't value that set of skills, if you don't get high points, rebounds, and assists, the fans tend not to value players that bring those other intangibles of the game that you cannot measure but are necessary for winning. To me, that's why I have that. To me, that's the most important piece that the Nets picked up. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a glue piece, man. Yeah. A six eleven guy that can rebound, defend, and run the floor. Somebody that you don't you don't need to run plays for to get buckets. Yeah, but the, most the, NBA, the NBA is yeah, I don't know about yeah, I don't know what the NBA is way people. different. I understand what you're saying, it's important, but you can make him obsolete. You've right. seen him on every team you you've seen him <clears throat> like the, the, the team can make him like the opponent team, the, the, the right. opposing team. You can make Andre Drummond obsolete. But he still won't get you fifteen to twenty boards. Yeah. Eight to twelve points. And to me, that's a, a, a you know. And he's gonna set monster screen because it don't look that's good thing. though. He's, it, it, that's, that's but that goes, that's necessary to winning because what what's just as important as a made bucket is the person who set a screen that can clear the space for the made bucket. So why is he not? But winning? but he's not because <laughs> players like that that have skill sets that don't translate to the big three stats, they have to be put in the right situation around the right stars. Stars need those type players. Like people always say, oh, personal. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, they they gonna get the buckets. They need people to do all dirty work. They need someone to set the screens, someone to open up the passing lanes, and someone to get the garbage plays when they fuck up a little bit. Yeah, the junk and that, dog type. And, and the that's guys. the blue guys. Yeah, and that guys. style of player can only be appreciated on a team that has star talent. Right. But if you put them on a team without star talent, you're not. They, they, what their skill set isn't going to make any sense. They're right. Detroit Pistons. Yeah, like 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 yeah. So so that's just one of those. It's, it's, also, the game is more is more to the game than what they highlight. Because, I mean, we can't, like, it, it didn't work with the Lakers either. It didn't work with the Lakers. The Lakers were a good team. We had Star Talent. They had Star Talent. The Lakers were a good team. Yeah, Lakers had no floor balance. Yeah, totally you got to have floor, another thing. You have to have floor balance. That's what, that's what it is. It's more than just having the if you don't have, If you don't have two, if you don't have at least two shooters on the course, you, in today's NBA, three, that can keep the floor spread, that's going to make defenses collapse in on your stars, again, rendering a person with Andre Drummond's talent irrelevant. But if you combine him with stars and role players that can <coughs> knock down open jump shots, that then opens up the floor spacing for someone like Andre Jeff. LeBron Jeff, 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 James is a big man career killer. That too. If you are up in the trade to play with LeBron James or you're a post player, 
and you can make some serious money in your career, you better fight tooth and nail not to play with that nigga. Because, <laughs> yeah. 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 It just, I mean, I, I got too many examples. Uh, Anthony Thompson. Anthony Thompson. Uh, Thompson. Uh, Kevin Love or was the lefty at, what, that was one of the, what did he? Uh, uh, Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh. Motherfucking dumb it. I'm a dumb drummer. Yeah, he got some chips. Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh, all right. Chris Bosh, all right. People talk about championships, my nigga. I'm talking about. Chris Bosh was 28 to 14. He was the best big man in the league before he went to play with the Browns. He was campaigning. He wasn't. No, he wasn't. Kevin Garnett was still playing. He was campaigning. He was better than KG at that point. KG was old by then. No, 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 no. Chris Bosh was campaigning. Doing doing car commercials to get into the All Star no, game. Let, let me tell you something. <laughs> Chris, Bosh was, Chris Bosh was the best right. power forward in the league the year before he came to the Heat. Yes. Was Kevin Dirk Garnett was, was old. Was Dirk still in the league? Dirk was old. Dirk they, was that guy. Huh? They, they were, I mean, Dirk, Dirk had just beat that team. Dirk, he just yeah. beat, he okay, just beat okay, them okay, niggas. Yeah. So he was the second best. <laughs> but still, though, that's crazy, though. He was second Bosch best. was killing Dirk the year before in huh? Toronto. Tim Duncan went out in Toronto. Yeah. Dirk was single handedly. Chris Bosch was killing them this thing. Chris Bosch was killing Dirk. Chris Bosch was wrong. Yes, but he wasn't the best in the league. But what happened when he got to Miami? He second best. When he got to Miami, was out of his heyday. He was out of his heyday. What happened was when Tim Duncan got yeah, to Miami. Yeah, I mean, when Chris Bosh got to Miami, he had to sacrifice those those parts of his game that made him special mm -hmm. to become yeah. a jump shooter to create floor space for LeBron James to do what he, right. LeBron did. LeBron, Chris wait, Bosch wait, wait! Was, but Chris Bosh just got elected to the NBA Hall of Fame. I don't give a okay. fuck <laughs> about that. We <laughs> talking about, talk about his sacrifice. He went yeah. from after twenty eight to fourteen. A Tell lot. Him, Juan, LeBron. LeBron. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to average twenty eight. Uh, he did average. No, no, I'm saying with the heat. Did you think he, he was going? No, 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 no one expected him to average right. more than fifteen. No, it's, but, uh, what I'm saying is every big man. LeBron has ever played with has had to sacrifice a lot to play with the nigga. Can we say this though? All them niggas that was 30 and 12 and 20, what is it, 28, 12, the niggas never got the first round. So they made it to Bron. Right, so right, that's right. That's what I'm saying. So like, the niggas, the niggas yeah. weren't winners until they got right. to with Bron. Yeah, yeah. 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 They had, they was putting up numbers, though. All real numbers. hoopers know this. I don't give a fuck how raw you are. This is the rule in hoop, man. If you really love the game, and you get an opportunity to play with a nigga that's clearly better than you. You gotta, you gotta take a back you gotta, seat. Yeah, you gotta right. sacrifice. And that's just that's yeah. just the rules of hoop. We don't yeah. real so hoopers don't play. do that because I think I'm better than you. Yeah. When I'm on the same team as you, it's because I think I'm better than all nigga. Unless he about to take your spot. Right. Well, I mean that's just like, the game. If y'all play the exact same spot, it's over with. Nah, I don't need that. Like, <laughs> you know, go somewhere. But what I, I'm saying, I'll, is, I'll kill you in the finals. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I don't want you to come in. Me personally, I would never play with a LeBron or Kobe. I want to go at them type of niggas. Yeah. So I don't. That's not even. Even in my DNA, I, I wouldn't even be able to sit on the bench right. I'd be hating and yelling. <laughs> you understand know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'd be hating and yelling. I could do that. I wouldn't hate that one. That was on Lloyd anyway. I was never in the league. I was never a nigga to think I was better than somebody that I wasn't better than. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I am a nigga to be like, nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? I could, yeah, he could jump higher than me, nigga, but I'm locking niggas up. Oh, <laughs> what you doing, coach? Like, I'm letting nigga like that. Like, like, he ain't that good. Like, yeah. like, like, you see that nigga miss a lot of shots in practice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, damn. Yeah. 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 Would, you refuse, would you refuse to play with LeBron your entirety of your career? 12 years and not making a playoffs? My head that years, I'm not. My head, if I'm, we're talking about figuratively. If I'm an NBA talent, right, I'm an NBA. My first 10 years, I'm not a nigga, no. But after saying, that, after that. You're not after saying that. no pay Hell no, no. After that. Hell no. Nigga, fuck a championship, nigga. I mean, after that, is you know Kevin Duckworth is driving a Honda Civic? <laughs> 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 don't do Kevin Duckworth like that, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> don't do Kevin Duckworth like that, nigga. Kevin Duckworth is dead, nigga. I'm about to say, yo. I don't know if he did, but I'm guessing. He didn't make no Kevin didn't make no money. Did Kevin make real money? No, he didn't. He didn't. Uh -huh. he he didn't. His cheerleader's making more than Kevin Duck right now. Oh, Kevin Duck. I don't I don't I don't get that, man. That that's another slave. Mentality or slave psychology that the NBA was able to put into some of these players' heads. 
this whole championship sacrifice for the team shit, nigga. No, yeah, nigga. That's crazy. That saved me a little bit of money shit from the owners. And you was preaching it like it's... No, nigga. Get all the breads you can, my nigga. The owners, so, we look, do that, though. Yo, so y'all think... You think Melo did it right? Yes. 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 Slowly. Yes. 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 I agree. I agree. Yeah. Melo did it right. Yeah. Melo got all his bread. It's gonna, it's gonna pay off. This nigga... Do you know this nigga Dwayne... LeBron calls this nigga Dwayne Wade lose like lose out like over $20 million. Because remember when, when LeBron went back to Cleveland... Dwayne Wade had 24 hours to decide whether or not to re up mm -hmm. his contract in Miami or opt out. Everybody opt out because they thought they was going to big three it again up in up in Miami. Mm -hmm. And then LeBron said, "You know what? I'm going to Cleveland." That passed the deadline for oh, yeah. Dwayne Wade to re up. Yeah. So he he got rid of three years, 60 million, and had to re sign that next season for what one year, yeah, 15 well, million. Yeah, and then he that's when he went to Chicago. Uh, that's when Chicago. So you know crazy, he lost all, all that money because of some team shit. What's crazy, Chris Bosh is the one that benefited from that. Remember, they paid Chris Bosh a lot of money. He got a hundred million. Yeah, he got a yeah, hundred. And then sure. played yeah. like 16 more games, yeah, and that was I'm it. out of here. Then he got some he had lung rare condition. lung shit. Yeah, yeah, he, was, he, was, he, was he was the only guaranteed. Uh, this is for everybody. Most overrated player, most overpaid player in NBA history. Oh, John Kakak. John Kakak? John Kakak is one, yeah. Because he got all that money when Ewing was on top. He got He had more money than Ewing. Um, what did John Conkak do? John Conkak. He was a uh, white boy center played for the Atlanta Hawks. Atlanta what did he get? He had the first big deal out of any big man. Yeah. Uh, the next one that ended up signing the deal that was big was Shaq. I forgot the numbers. Even, she, even, even so, she, yeah. Oh no, but he, even Shaq said that that's when he wanted to be like John Conkak because he had the money. John Conkak got the biggest deal in, like, for for a center like in NBA history at the time. No money with no game. But I'll say I'll say Luke Walton. Luke Walton got forty nine million dollars. Luke Walton was good though. Yeah, yeah. Luke Walton. I, 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 you couldn't I, have told me he was going to be a terrible coach. Yeah. Mike Conley, because he was such a smart player. Mike, Mike Conley, that nigga ran, yeah, but he could hoop though. John, he but he can run team. But two hundred million dollars. His dad is his agent. Who? His dad is his agent. Yeah, right. Okay, John. Yeah, uh, he leveraged that uh, that track and field shit. Like you know, I was fast. <laughs> Just for my son, he's gonna be fast. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> he's one, what did he, he was a, what did the first one? Did he say that to get two hundred million? No, that, that was when the uh, that's when they the, 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 they got the new TV deal. He was the yeah. first one to get paid big. Yeah, he, yeah. he opened he opened the floodgate the floodgates yeah. right there. Like two hundred million. I got one. The white boy? No, the, the shotgun on her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he got paid. Derek yeah, Coleman. Paid. Motorcycle. Derek Coleman was nice, yeah, though. He was uh, nice. He yeah, was nice. Derek Coleman only nigga dunk on Shaq chest to chest. I'm talking about ever. That, ever. That, that nigga got a bigger contract after that 80 million, though. When he did his backup, that nigga was just sauce. He was still getting big contract. Oh, well. Hey. <laughs> the biggest, the biggest. Hey. being dope at the, the, the Nets. You hey. know what <laughs> the biggest loss was uh, Samaki Walker. Yeah. Remember he, exactly. he, was, he was offered like a hundred million by Dallas and thought he'd get more. Yeah, that was. And then he, then he had signed the Lakers for like like for like ten. Oh, no <laughs> way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Michael, uh, he can't go to Nigeria. That kill that nigga. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's trash, my nigga. No, <laughs> no, he trash. He made only he made the league. What you talking? He was the number one pick. Exactly. He's the most disappointing player ever. Smoky was disappointing. Don't say don't you don't you do that. I'm only Nigerian, but that. Nigga did nothing in the league. That was Andre Bennett. Andre Bennett. Oh, I'm about to say Bennett. Come on, man. Oh, 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 Candy. Oh, Candy. Though was it was the same draft with like Vince Carter and I want to say Mike Bibby. A bunch of killers up in there. Yeah, killers in that draft, and they took Oh, Candy first. He was killing in college. Clippers was always fucking up with Chris Stapp Porzingis. That's a fucked up contract. But he good though. He does shit. No, but he nice though. Gordon. He was. Gordon Hayward. What did Gordon get? Nah, he got hurt. He the got, white boy, he got, he got yeah, paid. He got the white boy, good. Boston. He got paid, yeah. but he got yeah. hurt yeah. very first game. Gordon, nice. he need to bring it. Back. He need to get his Gordon money. Nice. But he got all that money. He didn't. Really yeah. perform for most the unskilled <laughs> NBA player of all time. Most skilled. Unskilled. unskilled. Bo Outlaw. <laughs> outlaw. That nigga couldn't dribble. He couldn't outlaw. shoot. Bo Outlaw. I mean, rebounding and defense is a skill, but he had no... Oda Pomelis was worse. Was no, Oda was better. No, no, no. Oda Pomelis yeah. was worse. I like OP. Oda can operate the post. That's a mean-ass nigga, too, man. He is. Or that the Woolrich. He was at B of A camp when I was a kid, nigga. That's what he was over. Meanest nigga ever. Keep his loss. Where nigga Oda Pomelis would be at. You see that some of Working out a player, and then go to the club that same night in the same in the same. Sweat suit he was working niggas out in early that day. Disgusting. That's basketball player. <laughs> no, that's old, yeah, old, yeah, old people, yeah. You see a nigga in the same jumpsuit 
that he was just that you said they working niggas out in yeah, in the club. Yeah. Keith, oh, <laughs> he he, he, he got to make him believe he was that nigga. Older Polynesian played for every team. Yeah, he w- that t- probably two times. <laughs> he, didn't he get arrested for impersonating the cop, pulling somebody over? Did he? Yeah, yeah. he he pulled somebody over and it was per- that, impersonating yeah. the cop and got that, arrested. Know, That's a dog faced <laughs> nigga. Joe. Oh, and he had that that, 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 that tape on his nose. That nigga <laughs> autographed my uh, he autographed <laughs> my basketball card in barks. Nigga said, rup, 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 rup. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dog faced thing. Jabari is in barks. In barks. What's his name? Somebody said master. <laughs> what do you say it was? Butchers. Butchers. Jabari is strategic. Crittington. Crittington. Jabari is Crittington. He had game. You don't know how to say it. King Kong. Jabari is Crittington. King Kong has skills. He in jail right now. First Jamel. King Kong has skills. He was 7'4". That surprised me because Keep Kong, I seen him, he actually had skills. He just was a, he was a drunk. You think You think Keep Kong is more skilled than Jamel McGee? Yes. Yeah, I think so too. Hell yeah. Yeah, for sure. More skilled. I think old school Jamel, but... Today's Jamel's hit three points. New Chamele. What about what about what about Keith Claus can handle the ball. He can run oh, the floor. He, Keith Claus was just a head case. What about Percy yeah, Miller? He was, like he was a, leading the league of blocks. Look, he led the league of blocks, <laughs> only playing like real, 15 real minutes a game. Keith Claus can do it. He said, hey, he said somebody good, though. He said, what, what about, about Percy, Percy Miller? Percy Miller. Percy, you talking about Master P. Son, you. It's hard for me to speak negatively about Master P. No, no, we talking about it. I'm Master P. I'm such a fan of Master yeah, P's moves. Cause yeah, he's yeah, 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 yeah. This is mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I'm a, I gotta yeah. say it, P, I love you, man. And you ain't gonna give me a record there anyway. <laughs> your whole game wasn't shit. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> your whole game. I, I don't know why you put yourself on that cereal box. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Not even cereal. Master P got oodles and noodles. Yeah. He got he's everything. A, he got real. Yeah. Like, yeah. He was yeah. one of my favorite niggas Shout ever. I gotta be hoop. honest, P. You couldn't hoop, nigga. <laughs> he was. He was. He was, he was balling in the make him say on uh, video. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. They was playing on the eight foot court. Everybody had bounce. <laughs> 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 Who was worse than Master P? On the episode of Hank and Mr. Cooper, when Mr. Cooper made the Warriors, and 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 Mr. Cooper made the
Junior All American football teams or NJB teams, and they never played. Mm-hmm. They would be there every year, but they never really got no run. Oh, got yeah. some mamas bring. We come from the era where yeah. nigga, and I don't give a fuck because your mama bring all the Capri right. Suns. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hoop? And the orange wedges. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Can you hoop, <laughs> nigga? Pizza is fucking pizza. You remember that when you first started playing, like when you was like six or seven years old, and the coach put you on the bench, and you took it personal? Yeah, I, I couldn't handle the bench. I couldn't. I remember when the coach pulled me out, nigga. I was like seven. I was, I was like. Dorsey, I started to cry, nigga. Like yeah. the coach, like, but the coach tell you, but you you learn to be a man in the moments. Coach be like, you little pussy. You better learn how to state this shit. And, it, that and you grow, but like in today's world, like, it's a, uh, why you so bitch? Bitch, that bad? Bitch, that bad? I lived on a bitch. I ain't that bad. Oh, no, no, it's a culture. You know? It's not a culture. Shout out to all the bench players, man. We out there, man. Shout out to all the bench players. What else you got for us, Ty? It's a oh, coach. man. I didn't do the bench uh, I was out there. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. What else I got, man? The, the greatest shooter um, in NBA history, Steph Curry, said, um, Stop tagging me in all these horrible basketball clips with people taking bad shots. Telling me I ruined the game. <laughs> he said it's not my fault. He's making his shots. These these people shooting yeah, his shots. They're not making them. He's, the he's making it. Yeah, he didn't ruin the game. Curry, Curry, yeah. Suck. yeah, they did the same shit to Iris. Anytime someone Steph Curry revolutionized the game. Let's just give him credit for that. Yeah. Some shots he yeah, changed. Whether you like him or not, he changed well, the game. There's a few niggas that did it before him. But the way he he did it. Not on his level. Not on his level. Not on his level. You crazy? You crazy? All niggas crazy. On a regular basis. Dana Burles. He wasn't doing it like that. You crazy? He wasn't doing it like that. Yeah. Mahmoud, a nigga. Chris Jackson. Chris Jackson. Jackson. Hey. Mahmoud, what? Hey. Mahmoud, what? Mahmoud, what? Mahmoud, what? He wasn't shooting from the logo. The but it wasn't okay in our era. He wasn't shooting from the logo. Yo, nigga, the coaches coach would sit you, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's so crazy? Back in yeah. our era, niggas was able to touch stuff. Like, yeah. booing, yeah. 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 Yeah.
receive crack Shit, pipes. Don't get them both. <laughs> You gotta go. All right, Red. So, yeah, appreciate man. you, bro, for real. Thank you, man. Appreciate Thanks you coming, man. For real. Right, 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 right. We'll go to a commercial break when we get back more Craig Facts. Yes, sir. We're going to. All right, man. Oh, Leave, fellas. Don't. Stay with an abusive woman. They only respect violence. An abusive woman only understands abuse. They don't even like normal greetings. An abusive wo woman wants an abusive greeting. You talking about hi, hello, bitch? I hate that, bitch. Only thing I love is fucking you up. Okay? Don't you like that? <laughs> yeah, you like when I take the wind from you, huh? It's real hard to breathe, ain't it, huh? <laughs> oh, Jackie. Just a few things on a nigga's mind, you know? Uh. Uh. We own it. Selfish pride to the side as we vibe in the moment. I got a bitch, man. Yeah, I got a bitch. Cause we own it. I got a bitch, man. Yeah, yeah, I got a bitch. We own it. Selfish pride put aside as we vibe in the moment. I got a bitch, man. Cause we own it. Got a bitch, man. Yeah, I got a bitch. We own it. Misplaced gloves, you lost your touch. Never been to Europe, I don't go Dutch. Pay me what you owe me, it ain't that much. Just a few more struts and we can do our stuff. Misplaced hugs, but we can't fuck. Never knew a bomb bitch that can't blow up. Say what you know, she, she's with us. Greyhound lunch break, meet on the bus And talk about a new car Shit we coulda had but couldn't grab cause it was too far Never knew your dad so when you laugh I still school you Umar I did the math, nigga figure out who you are I'm on a bitch's mind, I'm on a different time Check your watch for a breakfast spot, I'm early with the grind Up before the rooster, the rooster that'll shoot ya On top of shit like a roofer We own it Self is pride to the side as we vibe in the moment. Yeah, I got a bitch, man. Yeah, I got a bitch. Cause we own it. Yeah, I got a bitch, man. Yeah, I got a bitch. We own it. Self is pride put aside as we vibe in the moment. Yeah, I got a bitch, man. Yeah, I got a bitch. Cause we own it. Yeah, I got a bitch, man. Yeah, I got a bitch. Yeah, got a bitch. If we own it. Ain't got a mouth, it can't talk me off that fly shit. I'm getting on this plane and this dang will be my bitch. In a room full of suckers, ain't nobody here to vibe with. I'm a dog ass nigga and this world is my high trick get used to When a hoe's wrong don't hug her Cause she gon' think you soft young This a nine gay brothers always asking me my age Like Beyonce's mother cause I'm seasoned Sprinkle me on the bitch's mind and start cooking up breeze Get go, ask your father for a number got a zip code Start selling pussy, why the fuck do you strip for? Die on the battlefield or yield to a lip blow On that bitch's head, I think she fucking with that crystal We step towards that meth like Wu-Tang instrumentals We gon' find a way like Doc Dre on the tempo Swing to the cherry, stop and watch the tricks red blow We own it Selfish pride to the side as we vibe in the moment Yeah, I got a bitch, man Yeah, I got a bitch Cause we own yeah, it I got a bitch, man Yeah, I got a bitch We own it Selfish pride put aside as we vibe in the moment. Yeah, I got a bitch, man. Yeah, I got a bitch. Cause we own it. I got a bitch, man. Yeah, I got a bitch. We own okay, it. Look at this green card I got you for your birthday. I'ma open up. What does it say? It says bloody lip, black eye. Bitch, this shit ain't never gonna happen. I ain't never fitting to quit. I'm on your ass, ho. And listen to this voicemail greeting. Beep. Thank you for calling. Everybody, I'm fitting to fuck this bitch up. I just want everybody to know my life's mission is Fitting to fuck this bitch up. Leave a message after the beep. beep. Hey, what's going on, Craig? It's me, Thomas, man. Make sure everything is okay with you and your lady, man. I right. uh, call me back when you get a chance. <laughs> so, so what do you want to say? Uh, what do you want to say now? Hello, out there on TV, man. Coming to you live from the Huntington Hospital. Um. We had uh, some, some things happen to where uh, Cat put a knife on me, hit me a couple of times with it. But I uh, pepper sprayed and beat it with a bat. And is that true? 
fact. That's a fact. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, okay. <laughs> okay. I stole on him, dropped him, and he jumped up a pepper spray. And when I went to start hitting him, he hit me with the knife, and I know he had the knife. When I looked up, I was bleeding, so I kept trying to fight him. So he, he spin off talking. I picked up a shovel, chased him down. He kept running, got away. He came back, I grabbed minutes, a hat. Okay? Huh? I'll be back in 15. Okay. I grabbed a bat. He picked up the shell. Mm-hmm. Smashed me in the face. He told me he ain't gonna he told me he gonna fight me head up. So I said, okay, so when he when he dropped the shovel, I popped him with the bat. And I just took it from there. So when the police got there, he busted up with the bat. <laughs> and here I sit. <laughs> there it is there. Man. I'm off to the podcast. I love you. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know? You didn't know? You didn't collapse, man. Huh? Say that again. You got stabbed five times. You had a collapsed lung, punctured lung. Collapse. Meaning he, he stab, put a put a hole in your lung. Okay. A collapse. Meaning it ain't, it ain't it's not sucking air up because it's, it has a hole in it. Uh-huh. Balloon with a hole in it. Okay. And you got a crack rib. Okay, that's it. That's it. Right. And they, you still here to make sure that there's no complications from after the surgery with your lung. And once that's confirmed, you, they gonna let you out. What'd you say, Carl? Well, you know I know that. But why wouldn't I do what you're telling me to do now? I'm here because of you, Lord. Because if you are walk by faith and not by sight. Well, exactly. When I was in the penitentiary, wouldn't nobody... Okay. Well, what does that mean to me? Exactly, Lord. Exactly. That's why I love you, God. A personal relationship. Brother, what brings you to our beautiful church today? I've been on drugs my whole life. It's taken everything from me. I thought it was going to help me with my cardio. And I can't stop snitching. Listen, man, I, I got the dope. Right here. He got the dope. I see it. Lord, you've heard this man's heart, God. Bless this man and give this brother a miracle. He's gotten you off the drugs. It's a miracle. Oh my God, hallelujah, I'm off the drugs. What is this, brother? Who does it belong to? It's cocaine right there. You know anything about that? No. Nope. God! The Lord tells me you've been hiding some things, brother. The Lord tells me you have a serious case of hepatitis B. The Lord has also told me that you're a heavy eater. That when you pass gas, there's weight to it. Thank you, Lord, for that word. The Lord also tells me that when you eat, you pick the food out your teeth, re-season it, and re-swallow it. I see here that you actually borrow money from the police. Thank you, God. If I owe you something, I'm not gonna give it to you, so you're better off getting it from God, my Nick. Of hepatitis B. Uh, the Lord, what you say, God? Okay, uh, God, Lord has also told me that you're a heavy eater. That when you pass gas, there's weight to it. Thank you, Lord, for that word. I needed to see Eugene the Evangelist Gangelus. I knew I needed to see Eugene the Evangelist. Me. I knew I needed to see Eugene, the gangster evangelist. Man, your reputation on the streets is unbelievable. You have no idea what's been going on with me. I've been messing around with drugs my whole life. I'm talking about years. I thought cocaine was the answer. Have you ever seen anybody fat on cocaine? Absolutely not. All right, ready? Hold on and go. What you say, God? Well, you know I know that. But why wouldn't I do what you're telling me to do now? I'm here because of you, Lord. 
Because if you are walk by faith and not by sight. Well, exactly. When I was in the penitentiary, wouldn't nobody, okay. Well, what does that mean to me? Exactly, Lord. Exactly. That's why I love you, God. Personal relationship. This is one-on-one -on -one with D-Bangs and Craig. Really just eating food. So, how was it, and would you make this at home? It was good, man. Um, especially that part I can taste when I do that. That part is really good. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I make it as simple. I felt it was good, man. Great job, bro. Thank you, man. It's good shit. What's your favorite part about it? Oats, the oats. The oats. The oats, yeah, as textures, crunchy. Get stuck in your teeth a little bit, pull well, it out, a little bit of extra mini game in the food. Very, I mean, the hybridization of all the different things, the banana, the bread, all that shit works together. It's great. Oh, my God. I'm glad to hear it, man. Yeah, I mean, man, thank you for I've been working on this meal for mad long, and, you know, I'm glad to see it finally coming together, and I get to share it with my people. Yeah. Would you, would, now, would you recommend this meal to my fans? Yeah, go buy it. Yeah, man. Make yourself one of these, man. Uh-huh. You heard it right here, man. Craig is co-signing the meal. Right. I'm with my legendary homie, man. Thank you for cooking for me, man. Look. Me over there, the gangsters call me square, but ain't nobody running up brick flare airs. Fake fight, rape type, test them hairs. DNA will pray, extend pairs. Cut off too many niggas wearing jars, equal testimony recording. So run off and go get fly and kill them all like COVID guy, cause every real nigga knows his why. Uh, black is beautiful to me, this is all I see, it helps my cheat. No more buying bricks, I only buy IPs The jack of man gon' starve and need to buy IVs I'm not a street nigga, that's repeat nigga for defeat nigga I got a Kevin Hart, so let me explain This black on black is bum clothes, we need a change So lighten up a tad bit and laugh at my pain Hey, I'm talking to you It's for me a drink This woman is cute and this one here need a shrink I see it all coming so I know when to blink Take a bump with this white girl so you know what to think Or get slapped with a loose glove and then hang up a man I'm not a pimp, I'm a prophet Since life is a bitch, I tell that hoe when to stop You know shit, yeah. well if I owe you something, you can get it from God Brother, you're a god and it's my favorite earth At war with these mortals, never wage your thirst Make her taste it first, finger dipped in slurp If pussy smelled like a gator burp, that's where danger lurks Look, man, lean this damn near head round, hit the brakes and paws you are not a tough guy, those withdrawals Cause nausea to body aches, clothes and walls Pistols pop for addiction, exposed to calls Throwaway shooter, you'll be dead in a week And I'll be in Bermuda Cody calls, easy puller Leave if not constructive Mealy fuller And forklift courtship Unloads your problems and force fit cords You can't talk while I'm talking She likes to spend money Door sit poor chick surprise with financial advisor for Kate. I'm talking to you, bitch. Pull me a trick. This woman is cute, and this one you need a shrink. I see it all coming, so I know when to blink. Take a bump with this white girl, so you know what to think. Or get slapped with a loose glove, and then hang up a mink. I'm not a pimp, I'm a prophet. Since life is a bitch, I tell that hoe when to stop. You know damn well if I owe you something, you can get it from God. Al Sharpton, man, really, nigga? Really, Al? You been scamming all these years and finally got caught up, nigga. You own a wig with homemade sideburns. Al Sharpton, really, nigga? You let Don King slap you over a bag of scrunchies. Al Sharpton, really, nigga? You got a Snitch's Greatest Hits album dropping. I'm telling everything on everybody.
Every time somebody says something important to you, you do a mic check. You said who said what to who? Mic check one, two. Did you say it again? One, one time, one more time. Mic check one, two. You said who did what to who? Mic check one, two, one, two. Al Sharpton, you own a studio in the back of a police van, Nick. Al Sharpton, you got a, a Snitch's Greatest Hits album dropping, nigga. You got an eight track with all your Joe Jackson conversations on it, Nick. You buy all your clothes from a low-level mob boss. You dismissed yourself from the Million Man March so the count would come up short. How many people we got up in here? You say who? Mike check one, two. We got with a, a million. Oh, man, I got to go, man. I got to go. We got a mic check one, two. I got to go, man. Mic check one, two. They got a meal. I'm going to leave. It's going to be 999000 Al Sharpton. You got a gospel album with curse words on it, nigga. You tried to buy dope for the Holy Ghost. Yeah, I'm here to buy dope. Uh, anybody might check one, two. Yeah, I'm just here for a kilo, 35. Mike check one, two. Just a little sniff, uh, nose candy. Mike check one, two. Who got the nose candy uh, for me? Mike check, Mike check one, two. I'm here to buy dope for God. Okay, where's the God, where's the God dope at? Mike check one, two. Who's selling dope? I want to take this dope to God. I ain't got no money. This dope is going to Mike check one, two to God, nigga. Al Sharpton, you snorted coke off of Genesis 1. Nigga, you thought God managed the temptations. Al Sharpton, Mike check one, two. Yeah, you left the pipe bomb at the Vampire in Brooklyn uh, premiere. They're still in my likeness up in here, Mike check one, two. Yeah, Eddie Murphy's still in my, I'm, on, I'm off the dope I bought for God, okay? They're still in my, in my I'm, on, I'm off the dope I bought for God, okay? They're still in my likeness in Mike check one, two. Hello, hello? Al Sharpton, nigga. You lost weight and forgot pig Latin. Mike check one, two. Look, it's the gay, I, 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 uh, no food, I, it's, no food again. Still in my likeness up in here, Mike check one, two. Yeah, Eddie Murphy's still in my, I'm, on, I'm off the dope I bought for God, okay? They're still in my likeness in Mike check one, two. Hello, hello? Oh, yeah. They won't give you the original. Oh, okay. So, you know, I, I get the original. You be all right, though, man. <laughs> That's what they meant by offensive odor, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's, a, yeah, I yeah. That's offensive. Yeah. That's <laughs> offensive. It's like a fuck you coming out your body. <laughs> You walk by niggas, they be like, what you say, nigga? <laughs> I smell a fuck you in here. Somebody smell a fuck you? <laughs> no, I didn't hear fuck you, I smell fuck you. <laughs> this shit traveling up my nose and my brain. Now all I can think is fuck you. I just thought fuck you nine times right now. Listen to my thumb. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Gotta get that together, brother. We gonna give it to you. To be so well spoken, you bad odored, nigga. I ain't never met a well spoken, bad odored motherfucker, bro. That's a, that, hey, that's an oxymoron like a motherfucker, man. That's a new, that's a new, new word. Not an oxymoron, but a, but a smell moron. That's a smell moron. It's all good, brother. Much love, man. Somebody got to tell you, though. Oh, we go. Hey, some, hey, somebody. Everybody. Everybody. If the police came in, they could arrest you for that. That's at least 90 days coming off his body, nigga. <laughs> 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 that ain't regular time. That's that's that, that's in the whole time he got coming off his body, nigga. That's, that's 23 hour lockdown time he got coming off his body, nigga. <laughs> Oh,
walking real spry since you put her through the fry. Now she fucking old boy and she don't even say goodbye. Missing old girl and she wants to know the why. But open means open and emotions are a lie. Even if I had a heart, she would serve it with some pie. On a casual encounter with a bouncer over fries. When he give it to you, we gon' finally say goodbye. Cause all I do is eat, drink, fuck, and then say goodnight. I really don't fuck with you. Did you just cough, bitch? Cause you just something to do. You damn right I'd be a fool for food. But I really don't fool with you. I thought you knew. I really don't fuck with you. Did you just cough, bitch? Cause you just something to do. You damn right I'd be a fool for food. But I really don't fool with you. I thought you knew. The trouble with y'all is y'all ain't trouble at all. Do what you wanna do, nigga, including dropping the ball. Plan for what's in store, homie. You are not at the mall. You're not a customer no more, but a product of all Your brother said what? Baby, don't play We both know Lil' Jeffrey Gay You do what I tell you to do and he do what a nigga say Plus, I'm the one fucking you When you feed me bullshit, I gotta stomach you with shit out direction Like that time he kept it back by the door for safety Then I said, if you don't take this and keep it next to your bed Nigga gon' break in the house and take this shit and hit you in the head I really don't fuck with you. Did you just cough, bitch. Cause you just something to do. You damn right I'd be a fool for food. But I really don't fool with you. I thought you knew. I really don't fuck with you. Did you just cough, bitch. Cause you just something to do. You damn right I'd be a fool for food. But I really don't fool with you. I thought you knew. Seattle, Washington, February 26th, Craig Smith from All Deaf Digital's Roast Me, Corey Holcomb's 5150, and the Craig Facts Podcast will be at the Langston Hughes Theater featuring Slink Johnson from Black Jesus, Rito Brown, and a host of special musical guests. Come get roasted. Purchase all tickets at thecraigsmith.com. Seattle, Washington, February 26th, Craig Smith from All Deaf Digital's Roast Me, Corey Holcomb's 5150, and the Craig Facts Podcast will be at the Langston Hughes Theater featuring Slink Johnson from Black Jesus, Rito Brown, and a host of special musical guests. Come get roasted. Purchase all tickets at thecraigsmith.com. Seattle, Washington, February 26th, Craig Smith from All Deaf Digital's Roast Me, Corey Holcomb's 5150, and the Craig Facts Podcast will be at the Langston Hughes Theater featuring Slink Johnson from Black Jesus, Rito Brown, and a host of special musical guests. Come get roasted. Purchase all tickets at thecraigsmith.com. Seattle, Washington, February 26th, Craig Smith from All Deaf Digital's Roast Me, Corey Holcomb's 5150, and the Craig Facts Podcast will be at the Langston Hughes Theater featuring Slink Johnson from Black Jesus, Rito Brown, and a host of special musical guests. Come get roasted. Purchase all tickets at thecraigsmith.com. Seattle, Washington, February 26th, Craig Smith from All Deaf Digital's Roast Me, Corey Holcomb's 5150, and the Craig Facts Podcast will be at the Langston Hughes Theater featuring Slink Johnson from Black Jesus, Rito Brown, and a host of special musical guests. Come get roasted. Purchase all tickets at thecraigsmith.com. Seattle, Washington, February 26th, Craig Smith from All Deaf Digital's Roast Me, Corey Holcomb's 5150, and the Craig Facts Podcast will be at the Langston Hughes Theater featuring Slink Johnson from Black Jesus, Rito Brown, and a host of special musical guests. Come get roasted. Purchase all tickets at thecraigsmith.com. Like that shit they say, drink, not juice. You niggas got a shit for the advertisement. That's your grown ass man. I never seen on a Fifi. That shit took away all my appetite. Now, the cold thing is, now hold on, hold on. The cold thing is this, right? What I had was a, you know, a plastic lunch bag, you know, sandwich bag 
with the That's chicken bullshit. tuna in it. And he said that I'm eating out of Fifi. So clearly he don't know what a Fifi yeah. is. <laughs> he watched one of those movies that didn't explain it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he watched one of those yeah. movies. Yeah. <laughs> he saw a movie. They, they didn't explain it. So he was just like, fuck it. Ain't nobody else going to know. Yeah, yeah. We know. We, nigga, we know what it is. Thanks for sharing this. Yeah. Yeah. This motherfucker. We know. He's like he worked. Hey. For Ford spacecraft. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> show watch TV like a T Rex. He watch TV like a T Rex. Nigga, stupid. You got your jacket from People's Court. What's that, water? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> water? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> What you got for us? Uh, it was on you, huh? Okay. It was on you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He learned shit. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Don't be no, don't be no rat. What's up, uh, yeah, He's talking about uh, um, Joe Biden giving out crack pipes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. Do I take it away, man? <laughs> I know you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he said, I, I, said, I know I you. What you got to say about it? I, I, said, I thought you already talked about it. He said, I know you pissed at Joe about something. <laughs> hey, something. I'm with you. Hey, See, there was a thirty million dollar plan that that was in the Recovery Act, and that one point nine trillion dollars yeah. that also got them looking in our cash apps and shit. Yeah. That whole bullshit ass plan. It was thirty million dollars set aside for a safe drug. And, and basically, Joe Biden said, you know, we're going to... How can you safely use crack? He doesn't say instead, instead of injection... This Nigga, the argument. you ever heard of Amsterdam? No, yeah. And yeah. that movie, The Wire? Yeah. Yeah, remember they created that little sanctuary where motherfuckers get high and do drugs as long as they stay? Well, they've like been doing that, that, but they been doing that in America with meth. San Francisco's had, like, safe meth spaces for, like, 15 oh, years that's now. That's right. So basically, because, it's, because meth, meth has been a safe thing, Joe Biden said, you know, <coughs> shooting this shit is is is, is uh, dangerous. Yeah. So let's provide sanitized crack pipes, and that's gonna be uh, reparation. That's basically gonna be <coughs> equality because we we gave it to the meth heads, so now we give it to the crack negroes. But the thing is, niggas don't do crack no more. Don't <laughs> no, even do crack. It's white people asking that. Go tell go tell that goofy nigga that be at my fucking house there. You're gonna get niggas still doing crack out there. How much, how much, I was here in the 80s when the whole hood was doing goddamn prank. Uh, how, 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 how much did they spend? I don't know. I, I, don't know. Be doing I, don't, I was on 50 at the Broadway, nigga. I, 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 and a nigga be doing something if you provide a uh, backwoods nigga or you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that for a nigga. How much, really how much do they spend on those pipes? <laughs> how much do you put crack 30, in the no. <laughs> they, they spent thirty million dollars. So use all drugs like we. <laughs> 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 In the back of it. This shit about to be fire. In the back of you put icy hot in the blood. <laughs> On the <laughs> <laughs> and that pink, that, 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 scissor. Like <laughs> that's the new, that's the new like syrup. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How much did he spend on those pipes, though? Thirty million dollars. Thirty million dollars, man. Black people, we talking, we need reparations. We need a whole lot of stuff. So his. Listen, man. They could have spent thirty million dollars on 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 health care, you know, to help those people for recovery facilities, man. They could have spent thirty million dollars on homeless and housing or something. That would make sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What what am I? What what are we talking about? Uh, Making sense around here? What's wrong with us? They could have spent thirty million. He just got out of brain surgery. Says the nigga out here looking like a designer purse snatcher. 
Burke. Yeah. 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 The thing got to be flying while he's snatching it, though, you know? Yeah. 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 glasses, clean Nintendo yeah. cartridges. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this shit about 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Remember that shit. And uh, yeah. last shit is uh, Super Bowl was just this, this past weekend, right? Yeah. And uh, had a uh, had a performance. Uh huh. <laughs> had a performance. They saying this is one of the best halftime shows ever. Yeah. I agree. Dr. Yeah. Dre is second to none. The crazy yeah. Michael Jackson stood on the Man. stage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> better than Michael Jackson. Not nah, hell, nah, yeah. nah, nah. Y'all yeah. Nah. Yeah. Wasn't better. Our Prince was good too. Yeah. Prince shit was the shit. Dre, but it wasn't good. better than Dre. Wasn't better than Dre and Kendrick Lamar and them. So y'all talking yeah. forget about Jet? Yeah, nigga, fuck them. <laughs> 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 Titty. Yeah. Titty was nice. We saw. Ain't yeah. nobody topping Dr. Dre, Snoop yeah. Dogg, Kendrick yeah. Lamar, yeah. Eminem. When I see Dr. Dre, I'm gonna tell him to his face, nigga. That's why I forgot about you. I seen a nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Janet Titty was out, man. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, Eminem kneeling. When I see Eminem kneeling, I'm like, whatever. That's point this thing, whatever. I can't I can't really debate because I they all guys. Michael Jackson's the pop guy. He set the standard. Before Michael Jackson, the halftime show was some motherfucker juggling. Right. Maybe a country singer. Like yeah. it wasn't a Goddamn thing. Damn, like Garth Brooks performed. <laughs> uh, That's what he so said. A country singer. Okay, that nigga was died. Died. Was after Michael. Michael. After Michael. That was said before that Michael. Trash. Before Michael, there was it wasn't a big thing. The super the halftime thing. Michael Michael Jackson made the halftime. Remember the time? Yes. 1991. <laughs> debuted at the Super Bowl. No, 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 no. debuted after no, no, no. like Fresh Prince. That debuted at the Super Bowl between the Redskins and the Giants halftime. No, no, that that debut 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 the Liver Color. Liver Color. Yeah, it was on regular TV. I remember watching the Super Bowl. I remember watching all day. It's like nothing. Matigi was working. If you, if you go and Google the Super Bowl halftime show pre from 1990 on back, it was just a random event, a bunch of people. Michael Jackson made it a, a star-studded event. Yes. So, so we, we got to give credit to that. But my thing is this. Ooh, Michael Jackson's a guy. Uh, Janice's a guy. Prince is a guy. They are and Dre is, and Dre is a guy. Jenny and they all no got their own guy. But Jenny's a guy. Jenny's a guy. That sold her pussy for a billion dollars recently. That's a bad bro. Jenny's a guy. Jenny's a guy. Can't no guy be no prostitute. Don't guys don't sell pussy, nigga. Jenny's a guy. She sold it. Guys don't sell pussy. Guys don't sell pussy for a billion dollars. I'm jealous. She had in her prenup. She had in her in her agreement with the nigga. That we had an in agreement. I had to be married to you five years to get the billion. Yeah, she was married to that nigga five years in a day. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with leasing some pussy. I'm not saying anything yeah. wrong with it, but Very guys don't sell pussy, Dewan. <laughs> That's human shit. <laughs> That's guys, 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 guys. I tell you what, no prostitute be no god. How did she sell her pussy, Chris? Yeah, she wasn't selling pussy. She's, Nigga, what, what do you call it? <laughs> she, she was selling for pay. She's like, get some songs for the nigga. She got married. Nah, he didn't song. Nigga, no yeah. <laughs> you didn't hear one the, song. The, so the, the song of hum. Yeah, Arvion. I'm hating on her. Fuck that. <laughs> Jen yeah. is a guy. Guys guy, don't sell pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the receipt. They only buy it. <laughs> At the best deal possible. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like her music, but Beyonce. <laughs> her music is dope as a motherfucker. I don't like Beyonce's music, but Beyonce's still a guy. You name. So my thing is this: Beyonce is a guy. Yeah. I don't even like her music, but I can tell the truth. Beyonce's a guy. Beyonce is a guy. Beyonce sold Beyonce don't sell pussy. Yeah. She sold she do. Beyonce sold pussy. Who wow? Beyonce sold pussy. Who wow? How she get? Hold on. 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 H
Hey, I have opinions on Jay Z. I don't hate yeah. him. I, got I know you don't hate him, but you just gotta. Well, he one of them niggas that get you shot. <laughs> 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 one of them niggas that get you <laughs> shot. <laughs> if you wanna be touched, I'm just gonna give you some more similar opinion colliders. There's two niggas I won't say nothing negative about publicly Jay Z and motherfucking Puff Daddy. Everybody's dead except him now. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, Pump Daddy is definitely alive. Pump Daddy was around the niggas that day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take that. Yeah. That's I'll handsome say, shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll clearly say fuck them niggas. The only niggas I'm scared of is IRS. Mm. I'll never speak badly to IRS. After that, mm. it's, everybody's like open game. Neighbor. We humans. Yeah, no, no. We but humans and everybody, everybody <laughs> open for each other. I'm, I'm, I'm not fucking with IRS. <laughs> Cause they not, that's, not a, that's not a person, but you people, we right. all, everybody's open for the game, man. You can't Earl, not knock Earl Harshyster. Earl Harshyster. You said Earl Harshyster? Earl Harshyster? Earl Harshyster? Earl Harshyster? What? <laughs> <laughs> That nigga used to be like, yo, if you if you put a dagger on that nub and that nigga be like, that nigga had one on. If you did one, I didn't watch it. That nigga used to flip that glove. Fast as fuck. Get the ball, flip the glove on. If you're a pitcher with two arms and you lose your job, oh, that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that shit, nigga? Nah, no, cause you only need one arm to pitch, so. Yeah. You didn't have one to catch, that's why you got a glove. Mm. Hey, them balls come right back. What happened? You better have something. He would throw that motherfucker in the house. That nigga was cold. That was cold. He didn't take that motherfucker. Wow, nigga. Fuck it. Hit him with a baseball, you going to hell. I was just I was just saying, like, I I'm not I can't rank. Of course I got my preference. My preference is Michael Jackson. But I can't really rank them because they all did it in a different way. Mm-hmm. Prince doing Purple Rain in the Rain. And the that was the dopest shit ever. Right. A super, Michael Jackson a super Bowl? The three minutes, that. That's the dopest shit ever. Seeing Dre play the piano, Anderson back on the drums, yeah. and Snoop right. and, and on stage with Dre again, nigga, that was magical. Man. Are we still so, talking about the halftime of the Super Bowl? About, we talking yeah. about, yeah, we, yeah. 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 Nigga. we talking about a whole bunch of guys doing their thing, man. It's just sit around. Listen, around. listen, <laughs> man, the tit. That's it. The tip. The tip, man. He watching the so, tip right now. Yeah. I don't know the other four <laughs> artists that perform, funny. man. When Janet did that shit, that's it, man. She the, did that on purpose. You know that, right? The tit. That was on purpose. Was just, I, listen. Just the tip. Like, when, let me when, tell you why I'm when, when it comes to the tip. She had something on the nipple. It was something on the nipple. Yeah, she had a little something. She drank. You wasn't naked. You wasn't naked. You don't have naked. You can't buy naked. It wasn't naked. Titty. What girl you know dressing her nipples up under her bra? Yeah, that doesn't matter. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I have a question. So, are we? I, I, I wasn't dressed up. Are we just gonna forget the fact that Jess Dipley ripped the motherfucker? He off? did what we was thinking. Yeah, listen, <laughs> he had a we was all thinking. I, I, I never. Did, right. Right. I, I did, forgot did, about Justin. Right. <laughs> like I forgot black about black Jay. If your black ass ripped Madonna City off, you still be in jail. Now, now you be in jail. Nobody, because nobody will see that. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> that's a ninety-year-old titty. Nigga. You, you, you saw, you saw. It was, it was this. Uh, this was an article that was written when Les Moon, Moonves got kicked out of CBS. This, you can look this shit up. Les who? Les Moonves. Okay. The person, the, the rapist that worked, uh, a suspected rapist that used to head CBS Records, got kicked out. But doing CBS Records? Uh, CBS TV. Up. I don't know who we talking Let's about. Move in. <laughs> Let's That's move in. Let's move in. In an email, in a leaked email, talking about he, he had a personal vendetta against uh, Janet and he was going to do whatever he could do to get her about it to pay. You, you take so him he me- used his media when Jesse Timberlake ripped her titty out. Mm-hmm. He used his media to put that black woman. It's media to put that black woman up under the bus. Let me tell you. That happened. We can look it up. Let me let me tell let me tell you again, man. Once once that tit came out, I lost my mind. I, I'm no longer. I'm no longer. I'm no longer uh, smart. I'm not conscious. I'm not. All I see a tit, man. That's it. I forgot. She wasn't even like she had the best titties or not. I was. That, okay, listen, man. man. Hey, different. watch your mouth, man. That's <laughs> Janet. That's, that's Janet. Hey. Don't take, Don't take the glasses off. Don't take the glasses off. Smash the like button, man. <laughs> but you can't oh, compare. You got to think it was only one of Michael Jackson, and it was what five other people to compare. So yeah. like, it was five. Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson was literally two said more. the same. Yeah. Outside of the tit, I, I guess I could go with Michael Jackson. Right, but yeah, this totality, that's, that's yeah, the issue. The, the, the tit, man. I forgot. Dre couldn't do it by himself. No, I forgot yeah. about Dre. Uh, <laughs> what else you got for us, Don? Oh, that was it. That's all I got. But hey, I'm going to say one thing. Hit the fucking like button, man. Come on, y'all. Let's get them likes up. Tell them bitch. where they can buy the album. Go to Bandcamp, Duncan Penny Hughes, dot Bandcamp.com. I mean, damn, dot com for a die trying to talk to them.
mind. I got it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Get the <laughs> Blade Brown is out right now. Y'all can right. fuck with that heavy. It's uh, 15 tracks of dope shit. You know what I'm saying? Got y'all a full album. It's not an EP. It's an actual album. You know Why is it so called it. Blade Brown? Because the first one is Duncan Penny Hughes. That was, that was uh, the other character. You know what I'm saying? That was... That was From what movie? Class act. Okay. If, just in case y'all niggas don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's from. One of the greatest movies ever. Ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ever. So. I'd be chilling. <laughs> yeah, man. Bike <Yeah. laughs> yeah. classic, man. You got your shit off on the football. Yeah. They got your shit off on the football. <laughs> yeah, we don't see right now. Brown. You know what I'm saying? Toughest. <laughs> hypest. Man. You know what I'm saying? So I just took that and flipped, and then this album was more in the uh, the, the, the energy of that other character, Blade Brown. You know what I'm saying? The first one was... A Duncan Penny Hughes energy, you know what I'm saying? Right. Melodic, slow shit. But this one is more, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I mean? Hardcore yeah. shit. You know what I mean, son? You know what I'm saying? What's the single from the album? It's Cocaine. Okay. Cocaine. Yeah, it's called Cocaine. That shit is my shit, you know what I'm saying? So, we will be, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be shooting uh, some visuals, too. So, we got that cracking early. You know what I'm saying? Get this nigga Craig in the video. It is. It was fire. The intro is fire. Oh, good looking, brother. Good looking, brother. Appreciate Te you. Technically, it was late, but early late. Early late. There you go. Early. <laughs> early. Well, yeah, go pick up that Blade Brown yes, sir, on a Garage sir. Man. Garage Man is a. He was serious. He was serious. I wish I could have my album on all them apps, nigga, at once. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. up on Pro Tools. Yeah, yeah. we would be rich as fuck. Niggas wouldn't be sitting here with Fruity Loops. Hey, get your yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. For real. Nah, but yeah, fuck with all the uh, band cats, for sure. What you got for us, DJ Show? Yo, what's up, man? This is be your boy, The Real DJ Show, man. So we was talking about all the Super Bowl shit, you know what I'm saying? One of the West Coast uh, rappers felt like they left him out, man, the gang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I thought about that when he was performing, too. Yeah, he said, uh, you know what I'm saying, that's messed up, that they left me out. I should have been on the side of Dre instead of uh, 50 Cent, basically. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, the, the fact that, uh, listen, it's, it's listen. a West Coast thing. Yeah, I'm not mad at West Coast. I'm mad at him. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm mad at him. If, <laughs> if, if you have to say that, yeah, that explains why you wasn't there. How's this relationship with Dre? Yo, yeah, then he, then he diss all them. He diss all them, right? Dr. Dre is not a motherfucker you can talk bad about and it'd be cool. Yeah. Even if you do a song crying, yeah. to that nigga. he's a real artist, bro. <laughs> he didn't artists cry to artists are very <laughs> sensitive about their uh, shit. Oh yeah, especially Dr. Dre. Yeah, and yeah. we also look like when, whenever you know how to go, Craig Networks. Whenever it's a production like that, they're gonna look at the numbers. Fifty Cent got a relevant TV show out. Eminem was the affirmative action hire. And so, uh, I, I know I'm going to ask you how it is. I thought the same thing. I thought the same thing. That's all Dr. Dre. That's, that's why they get mad at that. The one. That's all Dr. Dre. I, I, I love the fact but that. But it's still strategic, though. It's strategic. That's all Dr. Dre. Let's get the white people out here. Some white people think it's not like that. Eminem is his biggest artist, period. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I'm not judging it. I'm not judging it. This ain't white supremacy. I love the fact. Dr. Dre. I love the fact that Anderson Pack was as integrated into the show in low key. Yeah, I thought that was good. I thought he's the coldest motherfucker out there right now. He's hot right now. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was dope. Yeah, Anderson Pack is. He's the hottest motherfucker out there. Right I mean, now. I'm not mad at game, but at the same time, it's like, yeah. I, 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 thought, I thought the same thing. Like, Damn, man, game would have been nice. Yeah, yeah, game would have been too. nice. He should have been there. It's just, it's one of like. I, I, I ain't no telling what your. I don't know right. what his Dre is in his life, like, too. Dre is right. in his mid 50s, damn near 60. Mm -hmm. No shenanigans. He don't want no riff raff, no yeah. shenanigans. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No and problem. one thing about Snoop and Dre's relationship, even though Snoop pushed the gangster shit, Snoop is a respectful motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. When it comes to people in general, specifically Dr. Dre. Right. And the game, you gotta face it, your personality. You sometimes you go off, oh, you pop off a little bit. Yeah, you, you say know. shit you shouldn't say. I think you dope as a motherfucker. Yeah, but if you look at through the context of Dr. Dre's eyes, nigga, no. It's all shit. Yeah, it's all. Uh, I don't know why he didn't do it. I'm not saying that's why he didn't. But we all know at one point, game was going against Dre. That is my right. You can't be in your feelings when you're dealing with a nigga like that. Dre is a <clears throat> mad scientist, my nigga. Yeah. You don't give a yeah. fuck about that emotion. He's about the art, art yeah, and right. being dope as fuck. And you are both of those. You dope as fuck, but... I can see why you weren't. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, Cube, if anybody should have, should have been a number one, should have been Ice Cube. That's a yeah. Yeah. You just think, and, I, you and, know. Then, and then if you want to give it on my show, that's the roots of West Coast hip hop, the Ice T. NWA. Yeah, NWA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
That just would have been a moment. moment. That would have been a moment for the Colts. Yeah. But you know, I mean, it's not we, at the end of the day. The NFL has their product, and it's gonna go the way they say it goes. So mm-hmm. I don't have, I have no issues with it. It just you know, it is what it is. Q, Q wasn't yeah. there because he wasn't vaccinated. Uh, <laughs> probably so. He turned to the movie for the the money for that movie. Turned but Q did billion. do right. Q yeah. did do halftime of that NASCAR event at the Coliseum two weeks ago. You saw that? Oh, he yeah. took that though. And when, when oh, yeah. 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 NASCAR yeah. event. Probably yeah. niggas ain't fucking with the shit to get shot. Yeah. So Q Q did that. Man, and he, he rocked that motherfucker. Yeah, that nigga, yeah. that nigga yeah. cash. Nigga. Salute to Q. And he got a lot of right. red space too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, at, yeah. The, at the Cracker Barrel. Yeah, <laughs> but, but, also, but here's the thing. Somebody said Q, he never dissed Drake publicly. He ain't, game mm. ain't dumb enough to diss Drake publicly. Ever. But yeah. something had to get back yeah. to Drake at some point for him yeah. to have to be involved. He just dissed Drake publicly. There's plenty of music. Diss and Drake? Really? What? Yeah. Well, the second album was called uh, what, Doctor Dr. Zach, and he wasn't yeah. even fucking with, with Doctor. But he was. He, 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 <laughs> he had songs he, he saying did, like not you know like not likely shit about Dre. I'm, I'm, I've I've heard it. Yeah. I'm, I'm a game, game when fan when Fifty and Game cross paths is when Dre and and Interscope you know parted ways with uh, Game. So since Game had to part ways from Fifty, it was be- it was. Just good business for Dre and and Game not to do business together. But no, I think I, I'm with you on that. I think they I think they don't want them niggas to get into it either. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you know Game and uh, Fifty Cent nigga Game Fifty Cent nigga shot one of Game's homies right. and killed him. You know what I'm saying? For real, and that shit really happened. Damn. Not no yeah, not no rap beef. So that happened. So. I don't know how the nigga, they probably don't know how he feeling about that. He probably ain't talked to 50. 50, like, nah, I don't the want to. Niggas was acting each other's neck for a long time. Yeah, like, like 50 probably like, I don't want the nigga around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't want that nigga around. And we all from LA, we've all seen the energy. Yeah, hey, and around. you in LA, nigga? Yeah. I'm in LA, I'm beefing with you. I'm in your hometown. Yeah. I don't want you here. Right. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I don't want you here, bro. And, 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 and the Zantaraj comes with a certain energy. And everyone, and everyone knows that's no secret, you know what I mean? No judgment, but it does. It is what it is. So in them kind of professional events, they equate, they weigh all that shit. Yeah, that's a fact. They don't want no tension at all. <clears throat> most, yeah. most real men don't, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, ain't no reason for the yeah, bullshit. Yeah. Ain't no reason yeah. for the tension. Whether you but salute the game, man. Yeah, yeah straight up. What else right. you got for a show? Yeah, oh, man. The game. You an icon. We love you, nigga. So you know how uh, Instagram started out on, uh, uh, I mean, not Instagram. You know, the verses started out on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Triller took over, start capitalizing. So uh, Swiss Beats and Anthony Hamilton, they basically confirmed y'all like, hey, yo, y'all ain't got to pay for this shit. We about to get back on Instagram with this shit. You know what I mean? So Triller, basically, people was commenting on Triller like, nigga, ain't nobody about to pay for this shit no more. Like, it was cool while it lasted. When they put it on the pay scale? Y'all was paying for that yeah, shit? Yeah, for that? I remember it was free. That shit was free. No, it this was never paid for it. They, they had said this verse, to, uh, Anthony Hamilton versus um, Lucille's job today was supposed to be paid for. I'm not paying for that shit. Y'all want to start that now with them two? That was a rollout? Hey, let's y'all get the story straight because y'all didn't want to show what they said. <laughs> Cause we didn't know all that. I didn't know they was you to say. Yeah, they even had like a uh, thir- uh, what is it like a fourteen day trial and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So no, they they doing and, that for this particular verse. That, that, yeah, yeah, for this particular and, and, verse. And I, 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 Anthony Hamilton, the music soul child, took my favorite artist his last year. Well, but I ain't paying for that lie. shit. That nigga say that's artist. Shit. I that's how yeah. <laughs> <But look, laughs> that, that, that's 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 so, so, so three artists. What show was trying to say was Swiss Beats came out to. Debunked that and saying that he was on a plane during the time when the story came out. So when he came back off the plane, he saw the news and he and he and he responded. What did he say, Show? Oh, yeah, he said, "I didn't even know about this. I was on vacation." You know what I mean? So everything happened and got fixed by the time he got off the plane. He was like, "Well, I guess we do it on Instagram." And Triller st- still said, "Well, shit, I guess we're gonna premiere." <coughs> you know what I'm saying? We still gonna premiere for free. So basically, what happened was they took the power back that they originally had. They realized somebody else was capitalizing off of. That's how I'm trying because I don't never remember verses, man. Because I don't watched every verses, nigga, on the actual Triller uh, website. So uh, when they sold it, when they when they when they sold it to Triller, they still maintain control of it. Ooh. I thought I thought when I thought when with Swiss Beats and them gave the Triller, they let it go. So you so you saying they still have control over it? Yeah, like basically they just doing it on their own instead of doing it through uh, Triller, like making it be the main source now, you know what I'm saying? They basically bring it to, uh, you know, the Instagram's how they've been starting to do it. It was like, oh, it was fun when we was doing it, now you made it a business basically. Like, I was mad they sold it, they got rid of that shit, man. Uh, I'm glad to see they got control of it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so they just basically doing it how they started. What you got for a snaps? 
All right, well, let's keep it here on this uh, Super Bowl talk. Let's put in a little bit of tree talk into that. So as we know, uh, we just talked about who did the halftime show, and we know the NFL, they have a strict uh, mar marijuana uh, ban. They, they don't mess with the weed or none of that stuff. You know, we they, they have a strict ban on that. But it is California. So California is legal to, to, to do mar to, to smoke weed or whatever it is, use cannabis. They out there putting his dick on marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> it's legal, it's legal, it's legal. Why is weed But so eat no wax. So look, yeah, that's terrible. We wax this nigga is terrible, bro. Yeah, man, so so even though they have an anti weed their anti weed uh Snoop Dogg was the was the was the guest there. And you know when you go to the you, you go to a Snoop concert, you gotta see Snoop smoking. You know what I'm saying? That's what he does. However, uh, because of that he didn't smoke on, on stage, but there was footage of Snoop Dogg smoking yeah. right before right before, right before, right before he went on stage. Yeah. Snoop was on the side of the stage smoking, getting his mind right before he went to perform. <laughs> and now it was a lot of people were actually uh, it was a lot of people taking bets and people wondering if Snoop was gonna smoke while he was performing or not. Uh, we know Snoop has done, he said he had put out rumors saying that he actually smoked in the White House before. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. I feel like Snoop should, y'all think Snoop should have got the pass? I think Snoop should have got the pass, yeah. personally, because that's him. Like, if we see LeBron, if we see him walking with a basketball, you know what I mean? We ain't gonna snatch a basketball. That's what he does. <laughs> we, we, no basketball we'll is take, allowed indoors. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. right. We wasn't gonna take the we wasn't gonna take the glove off Mike on the step. You know what I mean? Off his hand. But I'm saying that's what he does. So what I'm saying, Snoop, there. I think Snoop should have got the pass. That's what he does. What y'all think, man? Uh, that's kids watching. Yeah, that, pass. Uh, <laughs> now, now Snoop gets the pass. He, Snoop mean, gets he, the pass. He didn't have to smoke in the tunnel. The nigga was already smoking in the green room. He that had to. He didn't have to. He had to get that little extra hit in. Why not? He's Snoop. He's, he's Snoop, Snoop, bro. Can y'all? He's Snoop. Yeah, here. Step back a little bit. Can y'all okay. niggas perform high? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you know, it's not allowed today while I'm working. It's not allowed, man. You pay me enough for that, you know, fuck it. I don't need you this shit. You pay for the Super Bowl? Yeah. Well, he didn't get paid for that? No, people that perform for Super Bowl, they don't get paid. Uh, there's, a budget, there's a budget for yeah, expenses, make but you don't get paid for Super Bowl. Man, hold on. Ladies, check. Yeah. Double check that room. Wait, wait, hold on. You said what? You don't hold get on. paid to perform at the Super Bowl. You Who told you what? that bullshit? It's <laughs> <laughs> in the paper every no, fucking year. Do you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> you believe that motherfuckers paying eight nine million for a, a thirty commercial. second commercial spot and right. they're not paying the performance? Right. You the got performer. to be stupid than the mother. Damn, I smoke this weed. A hundred niggas crip walking for free. <laughs> 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 Was, I'm not about my money, kid. <laughs> 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 we gonna do this for the hood. Uh, there's a bunch of production costs. That's it. That's nigga, nigga, ain't nobody doing that for free. Nigga, no. Nobody. Nobody. No. You niggas not read the paper? Yes, Michael they Jackson. Said, they say this, 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 this been a story about the last 20 years. They get paid. Uh, <laughs> they get paid just like how people get paid off verses, off sponsors. There you yeah, go. What, what I'm saying is that what it does is because of what, like there was a story release where Mary Strings went up by like a gajillion percent. Yeah. When you do the, it's, it's, it's basically right. free promotion and that's what they do. And if you think I'm lying, just look it up. Like, no, I'm not saying that. you're lying. I'm saying but, they're making a tons of money. They're so, they definitely have a deal there. set up. Yes, you know. But not free. Dr. Dre is a billionaire. Oh, 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 Pepsi might be paying. Right. They get money. What you do on Saturday? Just go perform. All I'm saying is when you do a concert, you get paid your hundred grand to show up at that arena. Whatever your fee is that you get paid for a normal concert when the NFL comes, they be like, you get your money on the, on the, on the trickle down. So you that's how it works. So you saying these niggas is just foolish? No. That nigga got up, matched the outfit what in front of his wife, 
took a weed yeah. break. I mean, he did all that for free. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's an intelligent chess move because often, because sometimes you got to give a little, get a lot. No, 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 no. We talked to Snoop Dogg, well, nigga. The, well, you, especially because in, in, NFL, the NFL picks up on artists that have passed their prime. What, what, so does, if, what does he mean from a, if you if you got some old music that ain't getting straight like that? You do super nigga. We're shit. talking about Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. What the fuck do they need from the NFL? What do they need? No, no. They, they did it. They signed on to it. Yeah. They, yeah. Oh, they, they, they signed on to that briefcase. <laughs> I didn't get paid. I just looked it they up. Get paid. Hey, you know what, though? Shit. They say the nigga streams go up, okay, up 200%. <laughs> 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 nigga, look, look crazy. Uh, yeah, but they say this nigga stream with up 200%, uh, and Snoop new album is streaming uh, 150%. More. And you, 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 you get a higher mm-hmm. appearance because when you get that level of exposure, it sells more seats on your current tour. How much is that, though? That's a lot. 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 Like, we both know them music is probably the bottom. Money no, 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 no! I'm talking about at this point. You think I'm, they cared about that? Yeah, because streams? that's gonna be almost. That's almost stream. like three, four hundred thousand dollars in your pocket. You think you think? Yes, I know so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, yes. For Snoop Dogg, but I'm not for you, us. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And when it comes, I'm saying we talking about Snoop Dogg. I'm talking, talking about people us. who would never listen to Snoop Dogg though. We should now they're like, oh, let me go listen. You look at, Let's listen to that at the at the party after the Super Bowl. Oh, to go on with a lot of that. Mary J. Blige, Mary J. Blige's core audience has always been. Black women. Yeah. Mary right. J. Blige got put up in front of an audience that may have never heard of Mary J. Blige. Yeah. That's right. not going to stream in her music. They saw power. And when, 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 when Mary J. <laughs> on, on Power Door TV show, but they never saw her being Mary. So they kind of see her in her element. So ass. now Mary yeah. probably gets to add Boise, Idaho to her tour schedule. It's now right. Mary can add it's, new cities. Uh, Anderson, Anderson Park said, like, whatever he was charging for his show. He's like almost charging double now. Exactly. So that's that. That's you can charge more for your yeah, show. That's what. Yeah, I was like, it's 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 well, you got to think it's like it's a like, ripple effect. It's, it's a what? Damn, there are a billion people. How many billions of people are watching? So it's like you. They're looking at you. Can't just think about the stadium. You just got to think about it's everybody. It's niggas in Egypt watching. You know yes. That's gonna pay you your fee to come out to your right. city now because free they free. wasn't aware of you. But since hmm. you were born on the Super Bowl, right. or they may have been aware. You know how people are on validation. They may have been aware with yeah, you. Parking but is you, expensive. You, <laughs> Yeah. You have they have off. They may have heard of you. He's still running the board. He's still running the board. He's still running the board. Black man looking at But the thing is, like you, you we, we look at it because we see, we know we're familiar with these people. But it's Istanbul, Turkey, all these other different places around the world, they may know who they are, but that name is now associated with the Super Bowl. And America's number one expert is his culture. So now I can associate my name with the Super Bowl. No, no. That was of a whole market that you never would have got to. America, that's mm. for this black culture. Black, yeah, okay. it's black culture. It's culture. I mean, no, American culture is black culture. Well, it's a one on one connection. Like, I'm saying popping in Nigeria. I promise. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> saying This one Nigerian. Fuck, 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 fuck. You mean to tell me that one Nigerian? Gotta make a popping though. Country, popping? Popping? Jeez, everybody got their chancletas on. What you mean? Nah, this nigga got cowboy boots in the bus. Are you in Nigeria? Heck no. I would assume so, yeah. Two. Two. She <laughs> <laughs> said two, nigga. But I'm glad you graced me. It's black culture. Yeah, it's, black culture. it's black culture, but we all we all know that Amer- American culture yeah. is black you know culture. How hard no separation. It is to be a cholo in Nigeria? Man, it's got to be at least one essay in Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be at least it's one. It's one, it's one no. nigga from 18th Street in Nigeria. No, no, no. 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 I'm like, no. Hey, you fly me there. That nigga eating goat meat in the Hey, he a Nigerian now, nigga. What's up with the flies? Ain't no Mexican this into war in Lagos. Ain't no Taco Bell in Nigeria? Is it our birthday? Is it our birthday? Who's cooking the food? 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 And what they say when you pull up in a drive thru? Oh, you think it's a drive thru? That ain't a walk up. The walk up. We ain't gonna drive up to the bar. You gonna drive inside, nigga? That Taco Bell's on the ice cream truck. That's funny. That's a nigga on the mic going. We got Taco Bell, we got Pizza Hut. Y'all got Albertos? Y'all got Albertos? 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
cleared HIV. They put a new pussy on her. They put a dog pussy on the bitch. Yeah. Yeah. You good now. Everybody yeah. knows. Yeah. No, that's racism. Everybody know Magic Johnson cured HIV in yeah. 97. Let's <laughs> <laughs> cut it out. He, already, he, he yeah. put it up on Instagram. They took it off. Yeah. 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 So yeah. 97? Yeah. 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 Well, that's the way we're going to yeah. test it. When he had that talk show. That nigga Todd got HIV. Cookie has the cure, not yeah. magic. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga Todd got HIT. Uh, HIT. <laughs> <laughs> Show guns look like he kissed a landmine. You got your you got your bandana out of a glass case after a karate blessing. Karate blessing. You are now a part of the tribe. You are now a part of the <laughs> no, I know what he's talking about. He has a mouth turned down. Now, if you over now, next time he say something, you better give him that. Nigga, thought you had some, uh, thought you had some begging dog treats in your hand. You're trying to get out. He got that bandana from mechanic school. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> It is what it was. I got to wear that. So yeah, they did. They they ran a test. Did he just swallow that shit? He cut it out of his mouth. He did some of that. He said, "Go ahead, hit that." <laughs> yeah. But they they they've been running tests on a bunch of women. Uh, they said a, a a good amount of them have they they've overturned the, the symptoms or whatnot. They coming off of a uh, medicine and all that. But they found one who complete who's completely cured from HIV. Oh. So wow, so sad. Yeah. Are you gonna so. double back? If that's, if that's your ex girl, would you double back? Hell yeah, nigga. Uh, hell no, nah, I'm not doubling nigga, back. How many companies ain't finna let this go? <laughs> <laughs> Let they get the sound. If it ain't oh AIDS, shit! If it ain't That's AIDS, right. there is no reason to use a condom. That's a Babies, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Herpes, nigga. General works, nigga. Right. It's out of it. What the fuck? You don't have AIDS, right? Okay, fine. Hold on, hold on. So, so condoms, condoms cover your whole genitals, right? Oh, so you put, you so put your ball, 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 ball. They don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> 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 you know, skin is porous. My balls ain't been in the pussy, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my life. But it's definitely been on the pussy. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. And yeah. what's in the pussy comes out of it. Exactly. You eat pussy with a condom on your lips? <laughs> Oh, oh, that nigga yeah. go my mouth first. Said, my mouth is cool. Nigga said, they swallow the disease, nigga. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. He swallowed all that disease. If you eating the weed again, why are you using condoms? I said, I don't know why we talking about it. That nigga said, the weed again. I specifically said babies. Niggas are scared to kill babies. Nigga, them niggas, they just suck the nut back out. What the hell? That's ancient African prophylactic. That's some American shit right there, nigga. Some hey, cock hole shit. They just started giving head back in Nigeria. What you mean? What? <laughs> what? Oh, hell no. Hey, hey, like, you want to do it? You dig down there, nigga. Oh, hold on, hold on. What? Uh, what? what? Oh, yeah. Scratch your ass off my list. I'll fuck with you. Now you can manscape in Nigeria. Manscape in Nigeria, you get a little more head. Oh, man. Learn a lot about my labels. No, that quickly. That quickly, you just make this shit weird. I'm trying to help people out here. If they get rid of AIDS, my nigga, the birth rate's going up. Mm. What? Yeah. One of the things that tripped me out about it was that they were doing studies on women, and they never, they never <laughs> mentioned the men. <laughs> So there's a, there's a direct correlation between AIDS and, and, and birth. That's yeah. what I said. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said that goofy shit about you know the condom and the no need for it, but that's how most niggas really think. Niggas ain't using condoms for the herpes. No, they're not. Niggas are using condoms because it's AIDS out there. Uh, no. Yes. 
babies. I keep saying babies. Niggas don't give a fuck about that. Niggas don't give a fuck about having a baby. I give a bitch a, I give a bitch a Plan B Jamba Juice. You want a bitch? Yeah, give me a Plan B. When Magic Jamba when Magic got AIDS. That's when them got them condom shit took off. TLC was, was wearing condoms yeah, on their yeah, clothes and shit. And, and shit. and all that, all that, like, it was like, man, we're, every rap song, like, in 92 said, put on protection. Yeah, yeah. At the yeah. end, at the end, strap up Jimmy had. The BT commercial. Yeah, all, that, all them commercials. Yeah, that house we didn't watch the video sold, yeah. and then it'd be like, threat commercials, <laughs> like, put ready for the wear a hat. You know what I mean? All that shit. Yeah, and Magic and AIDS is what got that condom shit popping. I think condoms should have an insurance policy. Like if you have a baby or something, nigga, they should be able to pay the child they support. Pay for, yeah, yeah. yeah some but let me ask y'all. <laughs> yeah. I, I did not know the answer. I said. I don't have an answer, but what y'all think? Why do y'all think the research is being done on women? They didn't, it didn't mention anything in an article about men. Let me get, what do y'all think? Why do y'all think the uh, H, I, you know, they're, they're pulling out of women more than men? What do y'all think on that? Well, because the women are the majority Why? of the population. Yeah. They don't want, if women die, population die, die. So if they lose one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't see it that way. Man. Yeah, that. Blaze <laughs> 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 was created in the lab. Blaze <laughs> <laughs> called. Blaze <laughs> called <laughs> collateral damage. Blaze was built, nigga. Blaze was built. What else? You, what you got? What, what, oh, what you got for us, Blaze? So. While we talking about, <laughs> what, 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 yeah. <laughs> but that nigga Ty's fucking with Blaze. Ty, don't you hate cool, right. yeah. 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 because Greg yeah. Cole with the yeah. passing off the topics, nigga. Yeah. 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 You trying to hate? You been high, nigga? Blaze. Nah, he thought it was you. He thought it was you. Yeah, I thought Ty was exercising his new Nigerian rights and shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's Maybe you can stop wearing them. Ty right, I got some. <laughs> 27% worth. That nigga can uh, go somewhere and be the richest Nigerian with $200. <laughs> <laughs> That was twenty dollars. Nigga got two hundred. Like, shit. He gonna be good, but he ain't gonna be rich. Nigga. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a scammer nigga out there that is that's killing. I'm telling you. Oh, you been hushed by people's only one? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm gonna go down to Hawthorne. Yeah, that's what he had. For what? Yeah, that's what he had. Where you going? 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 No, the embassy hit that nigga up as soon as he got his result. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been here? <laughs> what do you own? <laughs> what is your mother's name? <laughs> Where you from? All right, they already checking him. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Go ahead, yeah. So, so a husband lawyer with with a wife doctor, right? He divorces his wife, and he marries a, a a waitress at the local coffee shop. Does that make sense to y'all? Does that? Yes. Is yes. That, <clears throat> That's problems. Uh, what about you think, Duan? He said he what divorces his wife to marry. He, not, his lawyer, his, his, yeah, his, yeah. Husband? The lawyer husband, <laughs> his wife. He he's, he married to a doctor. His wife's a doctor. He divorces her, and then he ends up marrying. The, the local waitress at the I mean, coffee shop. Like, a lot of the doctor chicks and lawyer chicks be like, they be, too, they be real headstrong, bro. Yeah. After a while, man, don't want all that shit. We want home to be peaceful. Yeah, definitely. So definitely. sometimes like, a lot of women be thinking this because like, they be like, I got, a, I got a job, I got a degree. Oftentimes, those are the biggest headaches to be around. Yeah. Not every time. You know, yeah. it's, it's a lot of women with degrees went like that. Right, right, but right. we got to speak for the majority, and the majority, that, that's a problem. So yeah. I, can, I can see a man leaving that because he already got <laughs> married. If he a doctor, he, he ain't tripping on money. And yeah. men generally don't trip on women's money. No, yeah. you rather you just rather have some peace at home. That means more than anything she bringing in. What you What you think, those? Um, I'm the I'm the opposite. I ain't gonna lie. I, I need my my chick to have some money. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna live this empire. So yeah. unless she was just like really getting on my nerves, you know, I'm not mm -hmm. gonna. If I did leave her, I'm not gonna leave her for the girl who don't got no money. Nah, I'm not doing that. You, for, for, for another doctor, maybe. But not for, for okay. a girl working at. It sounds like a doctor at, at can't dentist. cook. 
That's what it is. She <laughs> can't cook. Look, she would, we would have been married. She can't if, cook. If you marry a doctor, you, you don't really care much about cooking because you know yeah, the kind of hours, ass off. the hours it take to put in that man and the dedication. Doordash wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I exactly. Up. Straight up. I'm yeah. Doctor, yeah. neurosurgeon. She gotta have dinner ready every night. Every night. <laughs> 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 but, 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 but I'll be damned if I marry a girl who can't cook. Right. I'll be yeah. so you mean to tell me you could operate on the brain? You can't make me a You can't operate on the legs though. Ty, what you think, Ty? Those need his girl to have money. What do you what do you think? Yeah, your mom woman got to be out there cracking. I'm not marrying a sandwich shop lady. I'm not leaving the 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 good chick for the so what would happen? Why so did he leave? Did she bitch if she not listening? But what she do? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know that's what he did. We don't know no facts. We don't know no facts. Why else would he leave her if unless she not a disciplined bitch? She's not listening. My nigga Blaze, M Night M Night Shyamalan, tell us what happened. If you're a doctor, a lawyer, an uh, astronaut, if you're not listening to your man, you're not a good bitch. Right. <laughs> Here. Here. That's the fact. So, so, so I'm thinking the number one, our number one priority here is, you know, you know, a man is here for a woman, a woman is here for a man. So, so why are you, why are you, why are you worried about money? Are you, are, are you, you know, you feeling inadequate about what? I didn't have too many broke chicks on my, on my team. That, that shit's fucking. See, but see, maybe the doctor didn't have a problem. I mean, the know, attorney. He probably always had a bitch with money. Right. He's just looking for a piece of mind. He ain't tripping about the money. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm, not, I'm not saying that's, not, that's wrong. We, we asked me. Personally, so I was like, me personally, nah, I'm not leaving. Fuck all that, Doze. You got to leave say, this is the narrative. Y'all don't know, Doze is a sex fan, right? Yeah, yeah. He gets so, <laughs> if Doze gets that. That doctor ain't giving him no pussy every night. The bitch got some trash pussy, he's out. Yeah, he's out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. That's a dose fact. All, all you guys are wrong. This bitch is a doctor and pussy so trash, you ain't came in a year, but you fuck her every oh, time. Why would I be there? Oh, in a, 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 a year? I ain't came in a year? I came in a year? A year? I don't bust that first night. I'm going to know something wrong. <laughs> This is what happened. These are all wrong. They were both doctors. And with the mic, nigga, you've been here too long. <laughs> <laughs> they are both doctors. They both went to school, probably got driven, got high in their careers together be, uh, doing a doctor thing. Now they got to the point they're both successful. He wants somebody that's more at home who can cook. Like she driven, she's at the. The smarter a bitch is, that. the weaker her yes. pussy is. <laughs> What's up? All bitches with PhDs have trash pussy. That's, that's, that's not, that's that not is true. fact. That is not true. <laughs> <laughs> that is not fact. <laughs> 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 what? Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. That's not true. Wow. Now, I will yeah. say this. Yeah. Yeah. What Juan said is, is real, though. A lot of times, the ones who have those kind of jobs that I'm usually looking for, the, the type of people that do a decent job. Yeah, they, they do be a headache. For, yeah, for the most yeah. part, it, it, Name a bitch with PhD got some fire pussy. What's name, her name? Her name? What you mean? Who are you thinking about? That nigga said, that nigga said, who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Name her name? I'm, the, I'm everybody's friend. <laughs> Friends out there. I see it though, cause like I remember when my wife used to work in certain things that you that don't get done around the house, cause they ain't too busy goddamn working. Yeah. When I got to the point to where she ain't had to work no more, quit your job. Yeah. It's nothing up. like having a wife that's home all day and you well, can bring in you can bring in the bed, your, uh, the bread, uh, and your home is nice and right, late every time you get right. home. Like, that's life. Well, well, that's what I Beautiful. think. It. That's what I think about this, man. I'm thinking to the guys who worried about her income need to focus more on themselves man because if you can't lead that team to the championship then you know it's time for some self reflection you know uh, yeah, yeah, come that, with me. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna do this together. It's a team. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't need nobody. Yeah. I don't need nobody that's gonna be bad. Just like, like count I said, all your money going to yeah. bitch. Shut up. Yeah. Going wrong. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you got to say. <laughs> that's some cool <laughs> shit. <laughs> you ain't even a signer yeah. on this account. Yeah. Yeah. You a signer? A signer? <laughs> Take the little nigga to practice and shut the fuck up. Your money going up. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, Why did these Capri Suns go for his practice, bitch? I don't know. You know get, get your ass in the room, smart bitch. Let's be. Let's be. Let's go there where Craig went. Let's go there where Craig went. Are you all right? Smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure my nigga, that nigga might need a hit on the back. <laughs> hey, but smart, <laughs> that nigga's stupid. Little hey, little but let's this, this, this visit that though. Stress and 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 I'm saying like high paced environments causes like I'm saying problems with the vagina. It does. You know what I'm saying? So if she's constantly in that. Violence. You know what I mean? The she coming. This tube is talking about <laughs> to go from the brain to the pussy. Cuts right off. Cuts off. Okay. After a four point. It gets constricted. It gets constricted. <laughs> After a four point. No. Plug it. Plug it. <laughs> so if she make that things list, if she make that things list, that pussy is trash. Then eat the pussy first, that's why she on the list. He ain't never got that pussy first. Ain't no Dean putting you on the list without having some pussy. Who hey, hey, the fuck is this Dean, bitch? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know your full name, man. Exactly. How you think Denise got into uh, Spellman? I spell him, but uh, Hillman. 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 Yeah. She fucked the Dean. <laughs> Got right in there. She was wow. fucking up the first year, nigga. You got a fan, so I got kicked out. Oh, what she, she looked like? Spirit though. mind character. Hey, spirit mm-hmm. mind character. Are you an anime? You like anima? I mean, anime? Anima? 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 Nah, yeah. he's got a glass. Anime. Anime. There, there you go. go. Anime. Anime. Women can't handle power, so PhD is mm. they off balance when they do that. They're PH. You ever seen a bitch with a penis? Like they walk. They can't walk straight. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. no. The pH is supposed to be a number. No. They fucked up. Yeah, they fucked up. That might happen. Oh my god. You never can never walk behind her. You never gonna be able to do this. No, I'm playing with all the smart bitches. I <laughs> Some of y'all got great pussy. I had a doctor, bitch. She had great pussy. I'm about to say, I'm like, I'm sure. I'm <laughs> but nurses. They be, she had a, a shitty smart attitude. Smart chicks be super programmed, and you got to peel that back. Yeah. 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 They be thinking that it's by the book. I done had a few smart bitches try to come back 10, 15 years later. Oh. They went to square around and realized, oh, this is... <laughs> it's not. You were right. Right, exactly. right. At that point, you just a smart bitch to me. Yeah, that's it. Old smart bitch. With more, with more miles on you. That's it. What is it about early forties, late thirties, where they finally understand what what it's about? They think they know anything. In their twenties and early thirties, they do not want to submit to a man. They yeah. think they still got that shit, well, bro. I, I, <laughs> Go ahead. Well, after twenty five, they expire already anyway. So. <laughs> Anything after 25, man. Like Blaze Samuels over here. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Blaze Samuels. Hey, they get close to that, that, that time, man. <laughs> that nigga, I'm with that. No. I'm not with that. I'm not with that. Mm. Them young bitches is done. Talking to the mic, though. That nigga is just like a baller, nigga. <laughs> 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 that, nigga like, that nigga like a manager from another brand creation, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> after a play, Oh, they, yeah, they do all their moves. You yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 got to do a move. You yeah. 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 got Chris, Mike, Red, Dave, bro. Yeah. All my ears. Yeah. 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 That's a roll roll. Roll roll. Coming in third. They got a whole routine on skates. They skate backwards and saying everything. Go get the skates. Go get the skates. So, I mean, I got some bad. That was a temptation. Eddie, Eddie didn't want to share the money with me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Eddie, I'm starting my own group. It can't be two Sopranos in one group. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. So, um, in food news, Dewan and oh god, you know everyone just. You know. <laughs> I'm worried now in the alto section. <laughs> 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 so the <laughs> music went from natural music yeah. to synthesizer. Everything, everything in my career went down here. Uh, my uncle was a You got to be able to recreate yourself. <laughs> I'm a master at the jazz flute. I'm a master at the jazz flute when I was 13. They never seen nothing like it. Like the here, here, go? Nah. So, uh, like I was trying to tell you about the bird flu was spreading, Dwan. Uh oh. The bird flu. 
So it's fucking up. Because it's fucking up the chicken and the turkey. <laughs> Why are you telling me? Uh, you don't want to know? Hey, hey, no, but this is real news. I mean, shit happened uh, on on a knife, man. A, a, a turkey truck uh, transporting about. 29,000 turkeys. <laughs> Wait, it was a turkey or driving another turkey? No, it was a, tr a truck transporting oh, okay, turkey. Okay, okay. Now, yeah. yes. I thought it was a turkey driver. I was like, yeah. it's amazing. No. <laughs> you had footage, footage of that. Wait, it was a job turkey driver in a turkey truck. Okay. Uh, and, and, do, uh, yeah. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Through India. I'm, I'm not India. In, Indiana. Indiana. Oh, in, right. in, 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 <laughs> Indiana. Dang, yeah. different countries. Yeah. It's not two different countries. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a state. And what is the. It's the same. They try to correct you. Hold oh, <laughs> up. It's too different. He said that. I ain't from Budapest, India. No. I ain't no. from Budapest, uh, India. You gotta have a passport to get in there. I'm telling you right now. You got, to, you got your shit stamp? My daddy yeah. from Bombay, India. <laughs> Bombay? <laughs> <laughs> but I was still confused. I, I'm not confused. He no, said to he said I'm correcting him. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I'm going to drop that jacket at that BB King's estate sale. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a Roman Derby coach. <laughs> Otto's a tic tac toe champion. <laughs> <laughs> 98, 98, 99. Uh, uh, like a part time pimp, part time guardian angel. So, 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 so I guess y'all don't care about the chicken and we turkey. It's like, no, it's okay. Fuck the chicken and turkey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but just know, just know that, show. I was there for you. I was there for you when you decided not to uh, go with a microwave and go with the easy bake oven for your doghouse. <laughs> I was, I was, I had your back. <laughs> so did the, the turkeys have they had the disease or something? Yeah, the bird flu was spread. Like it's, they shutting shit down. So how, what, what you were saying? They was riding in a truck and they went. Did the truck hit a bird flu? No, no. It hit a bird flu. <laughs> They first. They we was, don't know what's going on right now. We're trying to figure out. They, they, they caught. They caught signs of it in a truck in a in a delivery truck headed to Indiana. And then we caught signs of it. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. <laughs> so they got the truck. So the truck got to the place where it delivered the turkey. Yeah, and so then chickens coughing up mucus. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I ain't never seen bird flu symptoms on chickens and in turkeys and so quails. I know you like quails. All the ice in Otto's freezer got a goldfish in it. <laughs> That nigga got a mouthpiece with his childhood teeth in it. You fell out when I was seven. You know? <laughs> I had to take school pictures after this. That's the, that's the original <laughs> blood on it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, so he hit a bump in the road and all the turkeys came out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just like that. Just like that. That sucks. And right? he, we and still don't know how they got the bird flu. I'm saying, if this one truck had the bird flu, or they he multiple said they trucks? They drove past a sign, and the sign, I guess it. <laughs> Do it. Crash bird flu again. No. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. No. It didn't. Like one of those alerts. Do inspections. Do the inspections. They only found one truck. That's where they caught it and they traced everything back and they shutting shit down. So there's more bird flu. Yes. More. More shit. Like more birds and chickens and turkeys and quails and ostriches possibly exposed to this bird flu. Oh, ostriches fucking all the birds. Who the fuck is eating ostrich meat? Nah, just add ostrich meat. That shit is like it's like a lean. It's jerk. Fuck. I had ostrich burger. From where? Fud Ruckers. I ate a whole ostrich. Yeah. I thought you were going to win up with that. You said burger? You said burger? You said burger? Neck in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> and the leg. Sucking on. Ah, 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 
Why is all this meat, man? My nigga look like the Eric. Give me that orange piece right there. Go ahead. My nigga like Eric Bischoff from WCW. Who, yeah? No, you. Oh. There you go. So like Junior Doughboy from Boys in the Hood. Junior Doe. You got that, uh, <laughs> you got that jacket. <laughs> Junior Doe. Junior Doe. Junior Doe is funny, but the Doe, Doe boy ain't funny, but it's Junior Doe. <laughs> <funny. laughs> yeah. There's more to it? Yeah, that's it, man. If y'all if y'all want to learn more about the damn story, if you do even care yeah, about care. the bird flu, now nah, Google that shit. Y'all got phones. Story, <laughs> hey, but I just be honest, you didn't do a good job of explaining. Well, <laughs> You're not really informing us of anything. Yeah, we had to come up with it on our own. What the fuck happened? Now? <laughs> we had to figure it out. We still don't know what the fuck happened. What do you mean? I gave you. The the fact that there's a bird flu expo- uh, exposure right now, so he, he got don't a, avoid it's, chicken. Hey, bro, it's it's not not his don't avoid chickies. Don't avoid chickies. Chicken. Chicken. Oh, oh, once a avoid chicken. poultry. Brown, before we uh, wrap up the show, can you play the uh, can you play the ad for the show in Seattle? few times in a row. We got a show coming up in Seattle at the Langston Hughes Theater. We'll all be there having a ball, man. Make sure y'all come purchase and support the team, man. Yeah. Mm. Craig Fax Crew, Slink Johnson, Rito Brown, and other special guests, man. Go ahead and play the ad. Bitch. Seattle, Washington. February 26th. Craig Smith from All Deaf Digitals. Roast me. Corey Holcomb's 5150. And the Craig Fax Podcast will be at the Langston Hughes Theater. Featuring Slink Johnson from Black Jesus, Rito Brown, and a host of special musical guests. Come get roasted. Purchase all tickets at thecraigsmith.com. Seattle, Washington. February 26th. Craig Smith from All Deaf Digitals. Roast me. Corey Holcomb's 5150. And the Craig Facts Podcast will be at the Langston Hughes Theater. Featuring Slink Johnson from Black Jesus, Rito Brown, and a host of special musical guests. Come get roasted. Purchase all tickets at thecraigsmith.com. Seattle, Washington. February 26th. Craig Smith from All Deaf Digitals. Roast me. Corey Holcomb's 5150. And the Craig Facts Podcast will be at the Langston Hughes Theater. Featuring Slink Johnson from Black Jesus, Rito Brown, and a host of special musical guests. Come get roasted. Purchase all tickets at thecraigsmith.com. Seattle, Washington. February 26th. Craig Smith from All Deaf Digitals. Roast me. Corey Holcomb's 5150. And the Craig Facts Podcast will be at the Langston Hughes Theater. Featuring Slink Johnson from Black Jesus, Rito Brown, and a host of special musical guests. Come get roasted. Purchase all tickets at thecraigsmith.com. Seattle, Washington. February 26th. Craig Smith from All Deaf Digitals. Roast me. Corey Holcomb's 5150. And the Craig Facts Podcast will be at the Langston Hughes Theater. Featuring Slink Johnson from Black Jesus, Rito Brown, and a host of special musical guests. Come get roasted. Purchase all tickets at thecraigsmith.com. I didn't know. We're back. 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 We're uh, shout out to my nigga Duck, man. Go get that Blade Brown album. You know what I mean? Support my nigga right here. A Snapchat. <laughs> Pin Roddenberger on IG. Snaptastic underscore Pin. You think you write all the time? Well, I write more. Go get that Blade Brown, man. Yes, sir. Hey, you already know what it is, man. Bad Boy Blaze. Shout out to myself. Yeah. Double O B L Z. Zero Zero B L Z. Holla backwards. Peace. Yes, sir. Hello humans, it's your boy Autobots. Find me on Instagram, it's Autobots, and check me out. Google me, man, Autobots. Bypass the Transformers and the little robots. And the other things that come up with you. <laughs> <laughs> you put trans in. <laughs> you just go through all that, you know what I'm saying? For real, man, that nigga Auto back there dressed like he in Cyberpunk 2077, nigga. <laughs> that nigga's a character, nigga. Yeah, Blade Brown is out right now. Go get that band camp right now. You ain't gonna, I'm saying, disappoint yourself. Go get some dope shit. Get some soul music in your fucking soul. You should have had it last night if he was a real nigga. But I know y'all still real niggas, so y'all gonna get it when y'all get it, man. <coughs> but get on that ASAP. You know what I'm saying? They're getting clothing. Right now, I'm having an issue with my shipping for anybody that's getting uh, getting uh, merch. So bear with me. If you uh, if I see you are part of the people that who are uh, caught up in it, I'm, gonna give, I'm giving niggas a free hoodie. You know what I'm saying because I, I like to uh, hook my customers up because that's that's actually my fault. So I'm giving y'all a free hoodie. If y'all listen up, y'all know y'all watching. Some of the uh, I'm saying people in the comments be fucking with me, the clothes heavy. So yeah, and uh, sound packs on sound.com. Go get on sound and get on my sound pack. I'm gonna put two more out uh, this week. No, this this month and next month, two packs, nigga. It's gonna be a sound pack and it's gonna be a drum pack, and it's gonna have sounds and niggas' moms giving a head, nigga, for rent. 
So <laughs> that shit gonna go platinum. Now nah, but go ahead, though. That's it. Nerd gang, nigga. Yo, what's up, man? This be your boy, The Real DJ Show, man. Make sure y'all follow me on IG, The Real DJ Show, on YouTube, Plan A Radio. Um, if you uh, got some music, want to be on my uh, 24-hour radio station, PlanARadioStation.com. We also do write-ups on albums and uh, singles and shit like that. So if you need that, let us know. Video reactions, I do that too. So if you need me to react to your video, I will roast the fuck out you. You know what I'm saying? So uh, tap in. And also, Plan A Radio, the YouTube. We live doing music reviews tonight, so tap in. Well, every day. You did. Show. That is. Fucking time, man. You went in first. Oh man! Shout out to um, Otto fucking up that story. He had on them blaze glasses, so he probably. <laughs> 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 he said, "Oh shit, I was there." What's going on, Blaze? Man, you set me up. You gotta update them, motherfucker. They ain't updated, nigga. <laughs> Uncle Ty Comedy, um, Twitter, Facebook, IG, um, YouTube. I'm what y'all finna do on YouTube? Check out my YouTube. Watch my videos. Got a lot of shit on there. Shout out to the um, to the truck drivers out there. Shout out to homeboy from yeah. the uh, Corey Holcomb show with the yeah, 5150 hat. Yeah, you know what yeah. Saying? He was cool, it was cool, man. Yeah. Um, shout out to that nigga. Shout out to all y'all. Shout out to the I'm Out There Nation. I know you out there. Go get the album. It's called I'm Out There. It's got Lucky yeah. Pasadena on there. Blame the bartender. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday and Yo Yo Your Only Young Once. Check that out. They Yo Yo Your Only Young Once on YouTube. Talk man. about how you got raped by the uh, prostitute. Uh. <laughs> 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 Threw me off. I was like, <laughs> was he strong? Was he strong? I tried to pay for pussy in a pants. <laughs> 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 yeah, but shout out to y'all, man. And shout out to the, uh, like we said earlier, man. Shout out to the players' ball. That was a hell of an experience, man. That shit was fun. Anybody got the results, man? Let me know. I want to know who won. I'm out there. Yeah. You supposed to say che 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 Uber Queen on this nigga said it. How you usually really I mean you know what I mean. I got this with these niggas. You know what? Hell, che 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 Uber Queen. Hey, yo, check, 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 you go quen him. Don't do that, don't do that. We don't do that. What do we do? We just say hey. We just say hey. We just say what do we do? I got spooked to one time. You from a real African place now. Like, okay. What kind of does that exist? <laughs> uh, you can't Yeah, you ain't from Nigeria. What are the numbers? I know. What are the numbers? I know. Hey, man. It's regular amazing. underscore DOZ, man. Y'all know where to find me, man. I love everybody. <laughs> even, even my new my Nigerian friend. Hey! Hey, hey yo! Oh, man. Funniest shit. Funniest shit, bro. Show Carter's uh, nephew playing with a dildo and helped him pull it out. Bro! <laughs> no! Yeah. Oh, nephew! Yeah. What the fuck is you doing? What is that? 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 Hey, yo, hey, your favorite uncle used to jack off to your baby pictures. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing right now? What are we doing? Right now? <laughs> man, this is not that Jimmy. Oh, man. Stop, dude. Stop. Stop. What are the numbers? Cease. <laughs> what are the numbers? That's, that's the one. Dewan, uh, 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 tell them where they can feed you. Oh! Damn! 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 Damn!
Michael. <laughs> Michael. Puerto Rico's a lazy Michael. Hey, but. Hey, slash shop. Visit the shop on IG. I got my music family tree coming up. I got a family tree that I made showing black American music going back to the year 1619 through Let's now. Go. I, I traced the roots of hip hop. Back to the 1600s. Hip hop? Hip hop. Okay. <laughs> I looked at your hair and saw hip hop. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, my bad. Just, just accept the fact sometimes your tongue is overweight sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> You're a grown ass man. You're a grown ass man. You're a grown ass man. That nigga say, nigga. your tongue's heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that nigga, when that came out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yeah, that nigga, when that came out. Pap Jacks. But yeah, oh, shit. It's, been, it's, been, it's, been a, it's been an assault on our culture, on our musical heritage as a people. We can have but there's been there's been an assault on our culture lately from people not from America trying to claim hip hop for their for, to their culture. They already and stole it. They ain't silly yet. They ain't so shit because they gonna be motherfuckers going back and saying they created some shit in the seventies. Well, I can tell you back to the sixteen hundreds with proof. It names, dates, and artists to show about? where the music shows from. First rapper was a John no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> 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 John Clapstein. You talking about a certain rapper, right? That's a few people. It, it, it was it was some it was some, <laughs> <laughs> it was some artists just the past week came out saying he. What's his name? Was some dude from Chicago came out and said that he started. He made the first rap song in 1973 that came out this week. What about the, uh, uh, you also had Pete Rock. You had Busta Rhymes. You had Fat Joe. All these motherfuckers trying to steal our culture. And so I they, they, do it, they okay. why not? I don't, I don't fuck about them. <laughs> but uh, if you're trying to steal from my culture, you ain't nobody to me. So I'm, I'm, I'm making this uh, out there. What did that, Fat Joe try to steal? <laughs> no, Fat Joe. Fat, fat, fat Joe said he said some shit. He used to be Fat Dewan. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. Salute to the church that gave you that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> first, yeah. Shout out to First Bethel, uh, down the street. Oh, yeah. And took that nigga to the back and everything. There we go. And salute to that man. <laughs> salute to that man whose legs you sat between to get your hair twisted. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, challenging me with this God, homosexual no, outfit. <laughs> then they got, got, some, then they got that Ellen DeGeneres finest song. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna go and talk to the original Eminem. Oh, no. Go ahead, Dusty Brown. Dusty, they want that seat. He almost got the seat. I can't, I can't go nowhere. Yeah, but like, nah, that's it. That's it. Uh, get the, the music fan tree coming out pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. Niggas are stupid. About the lie. Hey, Dewan, you still got that uh, flag for sale? I still got the flag for sale during Black History Month. Okay, for sure. It's sure. going to be off sale after February 28th. And I got Why are you only selling during the month? Yeah, niggas, I want to get one. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I didn't buy it this month. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said, nigga. You can put it in the archives. Yeah. You got to keep it rare. It's going to come back out Thanksgiving. Well, just keep one, so. <laughs> Yeah. Talk to me. It's coming out Thanksgiving. I'm talking for real, man. Come on, man. Go ahead. You stole that turtle from House of the Grouch, nigga. That's a turtle. That's a turtle. He got a low top turtle. Tie, but no. Tie, but no. Uh, turtle neck quarter top. Anything anything <laughs> turtle, he tied up. Shout out all the turtle fans. Turtle club, huh? He's turtly everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's pro club. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely a pro club. Oh, yes, pro club, man. Yes, it's a pro club. Don't Can't breathe, breathe in them motherfuckers. Can't breathe in them One wear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You were that shit should be hard as a brick. That shit should be hard as a brick. That nigga taking that shit to the cleaners. Hey, Miss Kim, you don't fuck up my shit with the starch now. Yeah. I mean, I would rather take it back to the cleaners than take it back to the stove, DJ Show. Oh! 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 Who the fuck wrote, hey, who writing for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who writing for this nigga? Thank you for this episode of Craig Pass. If all yourself and get it from God. Hey! 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 Y'all niggas say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs>